Penumbra Overture. This is the game that the Amnesia devs made before they made Amnesia. For those that aren't aware, it's considered a classic by a lot of people. I've never played it. I've never touched it once since it came out. Other than making sure that it worked. Cool, cool. Alright. Turn off the rain. Slash weather clear. Yeah. Please, so please don't spoil it for me. I know this game has like two other sequels that came out. I don't know any of them. I know this one's fairly long. It's like six hours, probably. The other one's a little bit shorter. Enemies find it harder to spot you, move slower, and deal less damage. Normal, most balanced mode to play in are hard. Enemies take more damage. Our fa We're gonna play on normal. My story began in February, year 2000. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went, as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago, and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. Ah, uh, yes, I see. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. Uh, the university I taught at uh, was world renowned for two things physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. This it took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day, and I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. You just spoiled that he dies at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be the last flight I ever take. Wait, no, that's what I said while I was landing in Boston last time, as we like dipped sideways eight times. I said, this is the last flight I'm ever taking, and it was, and I'm not dead. So maybe it isn't spoilers yet. Finally, we're almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using left mouse. <laughs> and I can take a closer look at things using right mouse. Chances are the rules of physics still apply. Ah! You learn this when you become a like master physicist, like this character is. That's why he knows about the left and mouse button rule. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, this game has amnesia physics, I forgot. It's made by the same devs, so of course it does. To some extent. It's a little bit more dated than that, but it's still... It's still got it. Yeah, the game's a little... I think the game's a tiny bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down to like, yeah, put it there. It might even need to be a little bit lower still. Put like 60. Yeah, that, that should be good, that should be good. <clears throat> Chat, this might be the first game I've ever heard of that takes place in Greenland. I thought it was like the Arctic, but it's really just... This is Greenland. Greenland isn't even real. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me alone once again. I've left you a little something to remember me by in the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board, taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest, but 
What does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? Am I reading through this guy's fucking di like books? This is this isn't my character. This is I think the person who's driving the boat right now, and I like snuck in. I'm I'm going through his stuff. I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need, so that you can come home to me safely, and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time, but I still feel better knowing they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout, but said they were... That was blank. Wait, did I close it? I closed it by accident. But said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. Alright. I'll be taking that. <laughs> That's going in the book. That's mine now. I've taken his identity. I'm keeping that. I'll also be taking this, also mine now. Yeah. A flashlight switches on and off via the inventory, or hopefully, with the shortcut key F. Hopefully? Hopefully. Hopefully, if you're using a... Hopefully, if your brain still works in the green land. F. Campbell's. Old-fashioned... Oh, oh, Jesus. Hang on. Get that back. Old-fashioned uncle... Uncle fucking... Hang on, I'm trying to rotate it, but rotate is also throw. Is that middle? Maybe it's like... If I press right-click right now, I'm gonna huck it. I wanted to rotate it. Hang on, there's one on the desk here. What is this? <sighs> Squid soup. Filler content! Chat, we're world building right now. This guy's a fisherman, so of course he carries squid soup around. Right now we're world building. I'm trying to find out why this thing is locked. Always travel with a padlock and a key, preferably. Mine's in the inventory, which hopefully opens if I press the tab key. I hope. Alright. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland. Wrong. Wrong. What, with global warming and all? Big wrong. Should've, should've fucking planned on that one, man. Wrong. They melt. They melt. I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm going. Alright? This game is still- I think this game looks really good still, chat. I'm gonna be honest. This game looks great. Right now. The UI, uh, not so much, but there's the key. It's just- all right. How old is it? It's like 2005. I think 2005 or six. Here's some pictures of dogs. Picture of a very aggressive lady. Uh, extra batteries to power my flashlight. And some. That's the fisherman's <laughs> wife. Hell yeah, brother. And the glow stick. A little ghoulish, but should be a decent fallback if the torch cuts out. Is the game volume alright before we leave this place? And never return, probably, chat? Has it been okay? We good? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, it's gonna get louder, so I'm not gonna turn it up. I'd only be turning it down, probably. Always good to have a notebook, which is activated with the N key to jot down interesting information and reminders. That should be everything I need. I want to get going before dark. Okay. And P is like my objectives. Well, yeah, Chad, let's keep going then. As I stepped off the boat, setting out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. A new hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter.
Good shit, man. You seriously got lost? I'm dying. Well, guess we're not going back to the boat. My entire head went numb a long time ago. I can still hear the wind pouring, whir whirling past me. Hang on. We can make a. We have to find a shelter of some kind. Chad, we're gonna die. Ow! What's this? In the. In the cold. I need a rock. Hang on. Dang. Dang. We're gonna be all right. We found a we found a sporadically placed hatch in the middle of a blizzard. Hello? Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Though, looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? I, didn't, I mean, that's like, that's like a floor. That's not that far. Yeah, that's like one story. That's not, that's not that crazy. Uh, no? Got some empty boxes of ammunition on the ground. And aside from that, a metal rod. Okay, I've picked it up. I think I can use it. Oh, it's dark in here. Let's take a peek around. Flares, sardines. These things are probably still good. An MRE. It looks like potatoes and other stuff. I won't be eating that. Let's see. I can swing this hammer if I hold left mouse. I can make a backswing by pulling the mouse right. And then follow through by pushing left. The opposite works too. Pulling... Oh, is this like fucking... What kind of... I reckon if I hold down right mouse button after the backswing, I should still be able to look around. Is this gonna be how I think it is? This... Hang on. <laughs> All right. This is... It's very small. <laughs> it's not as... It's not as intricate as it seems. It's not... It's okay. I was like, is this gonna be like fucking... Why is it so small? It's, it's a small hammer. Actually, it's not that small in the grand scheme. It's probably more realistically sized if we're holding it away from us. But yeah, it is pretty small. Eh. 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 Found another flare. Could be a handy light source if you run out of batteries. I'm receiving dark sight. Hang on. Oh my god. Chat, you know what's missing? An insanity meter. Oh my god. I think I'm already. I don't think I can pick this up for some reason. Oh, I had to put that away. Okay. For now. <laughs> More empty boxes of ammo. Just see if there's anything but yeah, behind this stuff. You know how these games get with their surprises and their you're out of batteries early game. Hey, hey. Uh, maybe we go through the front door. Yeah, we didn't actually try. All right, it's stuck. I gave it. I gave it a solid try. This looks like a gopher hole. Looks like some sort of rascal, wild gopher or something went through here. Some sort of big Greenland gopher. Ah, uh, and it's still in here by the sounds of the rumbling. All right, well, that would spit me out somewhere about the other tunnel over here. That also, am I lost in a tiny hole? Okay, this is the only, but they both lead out the same way. I'm not going crazy. This is the only way. Uh, looks like some kind of industrial mechanism, though there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. 
the way this game does like depth of field focusing look at how it like lowers the resolution of everything but what you're looking at that's really weird and also sort of cool makes it all look like an active like image it's fucking weird i like it oh but oh jeez yeah, we got Greenland gophers around. These things are very aggressive when you go near their property. They're, you were in their territory. This hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out or in. And back out here again. Uh, we need a way to open that. Wait, what's this? Emergency exit procedures. Okay, that's not. Let's go find a way to open this thing. Another flare? I feel like a handle. I reckon, chat, if I were to break all these barrels, I'd find what I'm looking for. You gotta find like a like a winch thing. I'm gonna get my hammer out. Bet's in one of these. Nothing. This one? I just remember I already picked up something. Let's try that. Ooh. It's got full physics interaction. Man, I'm going to be honest, Jack. Games were a lot cooler back in the day. Now this isn't even impressive anymore, but when you do it in like an old game, for some reason the impressiveness like stands, and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Because you don't expect it to be like that. You don't expect it to be like that in like an old game like this. And it's like, oh, it works. You know? And then it impresses you even now because like, wow, this is an old fucking game and it still has this thing that I take for granted now. Like Half-Life? Yeah, sort of like how Half-Life does. Like, sort of like when you see something weird and happen in Half-Life and like, you're like, wow, it's, it, it, it works. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below the ground, protected by two solid metal hatches located in a remote Arctic wilderness and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I've never given it much thought before, but I've realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there if something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, were too scared or too far away. What, this kid get, this guy get bullied or something? By like a large circle of kids? Specifically, that's an oddly specific one. It wasn't like one bully, it was a circle. They deliberately created a, they deliberately made a way to cut him out of his social net. Dude, imagine being a bully and saying that. I am not just going, we're not just going to bully this kid. We're going to cut him out of his social net. He will have no one to fall back on, Miss Dweeb. This guy shops at Hot Topic. I don't think so, man. I don't think so, man. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If I face off against anything down here, I won't last a second. Caution and stealth are my only defenses now. If anyone or anything hears me, it'd be best off, I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching by pressing left control will give me a chance to hide in the shadows. I'll know I've got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Thank you for letting me know guy. Plus, I should be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources, though. Why'd I do that? I don't see anything out there. This place must be very old if they're still using par paraffin lamps. Looks like there's still some juice left. I'm not sure exactly what's happening with, uh... Okay. So yeah, this is my sneak vision that lets me see sort of okay at like 
Oh, there's like a map here. All right, we're right here. Hang on, I can't see shit. We're right here. If we follow the left, we'll get to the offices. If we follow the right, we get to storage. And then there's a gate and then explosives workshop in northern area. Guess I'll go to the offices? I don't see shit worth me keeping my flashlight out yet. Can I turn these on? No, I cannot. There should be the offices up here. Large wooden boxes. Yeah, here we are at the office. Ooh. Oh. Wait, what the fuck is that? Whoa, 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 This ain't like this. Is, one of these things ain't like the other. A man, an old man, clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know. This man before me is Howard. I call him father. What the hell just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. I may never get used to that. Is that like saving my game? Chat? Yes, okay. 15th of August, 1945. Command Bunker, Emergency Airstrip, Zulu, Weekly Report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance be carried out twice weekly from here on in due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this in that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom. Demolitions manual you keep in the storerooms. And I'm sure that's where they learnt the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have to now lock up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. Oh. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. His base, this base is so disconnected sometimes, I feel as if this war could end and we might not even hear about it out here. Supply requisition order, dynamite, Bayonets, industrial ice pick, removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch, one pair of glasses. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is fortified from potential bomb damage. Who's gonna bomb Greenland? <laughs> hey, bud, no one's coming. No one's coming up here. <laughs> no one cares. Iceland. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot. I forgot their one true enemy, the Icelanders. Those fucking bastards. One point of curiosity is some kind of archeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. I like hiccuped right there for a second. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of the light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO M Major. Definitely not a qualified archaeologist that should be opening up this fucking artifact. <laughs> Just in case. Here we have a uh, Backstrin. A bottle of Backstrin might come in handy. Christ, what am I thinking? I just tried to put it back down on a table? This thing explodes when it touches tables. We, we shouldn't... We, don't do that again. Hey. Hang on. Use Backstrin on chair. How's that gonna work? True, true. Get the chair out of the way. We got investigating to do. Ooh, wait, what's that? Beef jerky. Beef jerky, not without aroma. I 
was, I was just wondering if you had any more wacky comments to say. Hang on, I gotta rebind something. If it'll let me. I hope this doesn't fuck up any of my, like, shit. I don't like crouch on left control. I like crouch on C in most games. I don't know why. It's just more comfortable than using my pinky. Alright, this is the chest for the office. This is the- this chest has the bomb manual in it. Or whatever. The demolitions thing. Oh, what do we have here? Painkiller. I see, yes. And then we also have some more beef jerky. And nothing else. Rotting wooden shelves must be added, must be the added moisture from that grate. This whole room is putrefying. I don't see anything else in here I should care about. So much history in this place, tied up in words and left to decompose. The stuff here. Nothing. Anything there? No. No. Yes. Small key, that probably goes to the thing. Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th, August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of death mine. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that the mind-altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of the high suicide rates at a Greenland mine. Hey, Chad. You guys don't think this is the Greenland mine they're talking about? The, the mine with quote-unquote suicide rocks in it? The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Lead Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, of course, naturally, look at this place. It's like, a, it's like the Alaska situation, chat, where like Alaska has a way higher suicide rate than like all the other states in the U.S., when you live in a fucking abyss of ice and freezing cold temperatures and it's hell basically all the time and the sun never comes up. Yeah, makes sense. Wonder why. Wonder why. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace compared to the national average of 29. On further investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the miners symptoms in common with the earliest stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has promoted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic acid, a pH4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties, may have may be present in the rocks. Few locals were conducted to interview condu conducive to interview, sorry, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits known as the Turngate live in the mountains. University is awaiting the results of chemical testing. Studies follow. Well, they didn't really listen to the uh, spirit take very much at all, did they? Anything in this? Wait. Ah, yes. Batteries for my flashlight. All right, Chet, let's open this fucking chest up. I'm in. Big Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Black match fuse, materials required to make a black match fuse. One of the simplest and most reliable fuses in modern pyrotechnics. It's easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. We already have back string. We need black gunpowder and string. All right, anything else in there? Dynamite. Uh, we don't have nitroglycerin, so we're probably not gonna do that. I don't know why I'd need any of these, but I can only assume by the context clues of this place I need a bomb for something. Red phosphorus and barium for Armstrong's mixture. I'd rather not. But why do I get the feeling I'm gonna be mixing bombs in this fucking game? I'm gonna save and then we're leaving. I guess we're gonna go to storage. This sure seems unsafe. Who's gonna arrest me? The Greenland police? Chat? Hmm? Come on. Oh, God. 
Is something else down there? I can't wait here for whatever's around that corner. Need to hide. It's a little fucking dog. Oh, my guy has like brain sanity, but not really sanity. It's a fucking little doggy over there. Look at him scampering around. Jesus, I've never been so scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. If anything gets within more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I'd better not stare it out. Anything within my field of vision might panic me, and then I'm a goner. Oh, yeah, so he's gonna make more noise if you look at them in this game. That makes sense. Sort of like amnesia, but without the, uh... Without the added addition of having to manage a sanity meter on top of it. It just happens a lot faster in this one. Storage room and workshop. I've jotted down a note just in case. Looks like this is locked. But why? Not as heavy as it looks, but should serve as some form of weapon if I need to defend myself. I'm just gonna huck a barrel at this dog. Alright, well, now we know. For later. I wanna check that note. I found a locked door in the middle of a mine. Okay, that's it. Come on, Chad, I ain't afraid of no dog. This is the, this is the storage room. It looks like I don't, I don't hear any dog down this way. Come on. The dog must have scampered off. Storage room. I'm into this so far, dude. I think this game's got a really good uh, atmosphere to it. Bugs equals sad. Box minus balls equals box out of room with ladder. Is that a cannonball equals dead me? Lighter plus fuel equals big fire, happy me. Bug equals sad. If this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be handy thing to have. Oh, that's good shit. Hello? Locked from the other side. That Does that mean there's someone still inside? I can hear chattering. Thank God, maybe I'll get some answers. I've jotted this note down just in case. Hello? Hello? I'm coming in, <laughs> in a minute. Reams of wiring and a locked door. Sardines. I feel like this game's a tiny bit dark on stream. Should I turn up the brightness like a fucking 2%? Just to make sure, can you guys like see clearly when the lights are off? Cause I don't want it to be, yes, a bit. I'll turn it up a tiny, tiny bit, like a, like a fucking brush stroke. How's that? That's closer to what I can see, anyways. Better? Well, yeah, the game isn't pitch dark to begin with, so this should be, this is more what you're supposed to see anyways. Hello? Especially since like, flashlights are finite resources, etc., etc. Save point. It looks stupid! Game needs more paprika. It was different, but the same that time. Like, I had more control, but over what? Uh, I'm not gonna worry about this guy's crazy talk bullshit, all right? What I am gonna worry about, chat, box with rock equal, hang on, box with r minus rock equals box move off thing. Yeah. Box minus rock. Box minus rock. Hey. Looks like we gotta go down there. Oh. Uh, whisper guy. Boxes. 
looks like if this basement caved in... It looks as if this basement caved in some years ago. Something's tunneled through here more recently, Greenland Gophers. Christ, what sort of creature makes these markings? Horse uh, with hands that can dig as well. Could also be what's down here. Horse uh, with uh, human hands digging around. Small horse, human hands digging. Anything could be down here, honestly. It's Greenland. Anything could be down here. Horse handed, ho human handed horse. Mole people. Drill snake. Snake with a drill body, like a, like a, like a, like a drill, but like, you know, a snake at the same time. Were wombat, like a big wombat, but a were, but a were human wombat sort of thing could also be down here at the same. It's bugs, it's just spiders. <laughs> it's just spiders. It's just bugs. Ah, my head. I'm gonna go this way. Give me this. <laughs> Give me this fucking thing. Just keep the spiders away from me if I see any. I also know I need this. Probably. Uh. That would. S that the steam could blister my flesh from bone in an instant. I know, I've seen it happen. Alright, then let's do this quickly. Ow! Okay, we didn't go quick enough, but I can't really go much faster than this. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made in error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any stashes of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. Two, I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside. Three, the spiders are so tasty. Day 100. From the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to a legible, an illegible scrawl, today is the hundredth day of my new life. Your new life? Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering of their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all fails, I am never, and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with, these fascinating creatures will one day be regarded as an important point in natural history. In uh, the year 2000, uh, we discovered Spider Guy. He, a, he got lost in a bunker for like a hundred days and just ate bugs. So that was a weird year. Uh, 2001 Greenland history. Uh, we found out that uh, Yeti was real. That was cool too. Uh, it'll just, that'll be like a quick footnote in history to them. Chat, that'll be really quick for them. They'll move on real fast. The greatest names in modern science got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that this rule has extended itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. Did I remember when, uh, I remember when Thomas Edison was like, yo, dude, this light bulb is cool, but I wake up every night and it's staring at me at the end of, at the end of my bed. And then one day, all that was left in his bed, Thomas Edison's bed, was a light bulb. And he was gone. Poof. That's true, though. I know. I know. Also, uh... If it weren't, a, if it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that it looks like eggshells chat it is safe to say though that if you eat anything that's sort of gross for long enough eventually you'll think it's good so like i'm not sure these taste as good as jesus i'm not sure this is actually as good as this guy thinks it is you stay a hundred days somewhere eating something and you're just gonna be like well if it's all i've got i guess it's okay what the fuck is this <laughs> it's 
locked. I can't open it with that lock intact. You are a strong man. Believe in yourself like I believe. Yeah, you! Hurry! All right. Fuck in there. What do we got in here? Fluid lighter gas. Okay. We can use that to charge my lighter. We also got some more batteries. Looks like that's all we wanted from him. How am I doing on health? I'm as fit as can be expected, being scorched by uh, steam over and over again. I probably didn't need to bring this ladder with me. I get the weird feeling I needed this deeper in the cave. But I got the I got the fluid for the lighter, so let's. Well, it just took a pill by accident, but that well now I have the fl that automatic chat when I drag the lighter on to the fucking pills it automatically took the pills. I might have to like move those out of here, like move them to a different spot or something. Cause that, I instantly downed those fucking pills when I was. No, give that back. Alright, so down this way we have some more findings. And what I hear is a spider behind me. Ah. Uh, day one. Oh, we found these in reverse. I begin this record, still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. It's dogs. You're hiding from dogs. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely 30 years since the accident that brought us here. And now, 30 years on, fate has struck again. Wait a minute. 30 years? 30 years would be when the mine, when like the military was here in the 1940s. 30 more years, 70s. Scientists come back again, including possibly my father. 30 more years after that, 2000, I'm here now. Again. We have to eat the spider. This place is cursed in 30 year intervals. If we just waited another year, the curse would have been gone. Day three. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, <laughs> but I can only hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day six. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. Oops. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both those assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. The best... My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid and have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curio curiously, I could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale despite the fact that there are maps literally everywhere and signs pointing every way you need to go with very clear directions. The maps, the map, the cave's not that big. Caves, caves like, it's like a hundred feet in every direction. Pretty small, pretty small cave, this place. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me and I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time, I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading to a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area, I have discovered this storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learnt, I will not venture out again until I am certain this area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of the accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. <laughs> it's not 
so much the act of swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of arachnid. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the accident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom in the name of science to discover more about these creatures' natural habitat. Day 50. Four days now. I have been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died. I made a second life-saving finding. The creature's natural habitat is dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and will have attracted enough beasts for a rather hearty meal. You tell me these things come after me in the dark? Yeah, fuck that. Then the light stays on, motherfucker. Let's go. We're going this way. Oh. That's a fucking... A horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified or else I'm, the smell would have been awful. I think that's a full dog. Right there. Yeah? Yeah. Stay the fuck away from me. How about that? Not spiders? Spider friends? Is this the way that we came in? Spider guy, no! Uh. He got devoured by a big one. He laid still for too long. His final hearty meal. Yeah. Spider guy? I, I think someone's being dragged through here. I've never seen this much blood before. I... That was my best chance to get some answers, and now it's gone. Yeah, we're not, uh... We're not doing that. Where's, uh... Where's my save beacon? Let's just pop into the old soul cube. Yeah. Alright, uh... Now then. Here we have... Here we... I'm, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna... Dude, I'll, I'll, we'll catch up to him. He's probably dead. He's not gonna get any more dead if we like, you know, give him a little bit of time to die the rest of the way. I'm gonna Day 200 Spider haters note. This is labeled. We've, we've decided to stop labeling him as scientist. He's just now labeled spider hater Day 200 It has been some time since I recorded any findings in relation to the spiders with whom I've shared my existence for the past eight months My spider wife keeps looking at me I think she- I think she's getting sick of me not getting a job in the spider city below my cabin. But I don't know how to ask for a job. I can't speak spider. Partly due to my enforced retreat from their basement territory, not too long ago their behavior became overtly aggressive, and so I have attempted to barricade the main entrance to their lair and secured myself within one of the smaller rooms above it, the only one with an operational door lock. The other reason is that I have been recovering from a minor operation which I was forced to conduct myself without the aid of anesthetics. Even if I did have any anesthetic or surgical tools, I couldn't afford to be less than diligent in my work. So anesthetic was out. Surgical tools are all well and good, but although it may be becoming old and rusty, I still trust my pen knife to do the job just as well. Really? <laughs> yes! Yes! Nothing quite like a rusty blade for your, uh, surgery. The procedure itself was elementary enough, a simple amputation of a non-vital organ. Yes! I began to notice a thick glue-like substance forming on my tongue. I was forced to accept that it has become... that it had become infected through constant toxin ingestion. He cut his fucking tongue out? Easy, easy, easy piece of cake. Day 300, another century of days comes and goes. 
It seems like so. Oh, sorry. I'm in the time that I arrived in a large mine system. A Tavian has occurred beyond any further perfection. I was forced to return and get me the end life was in store for me. I see and hear my dressing to the friends scratching on the door to my room. Okay. So long, spider hater. Well, at least this one's a little more positive, although I'd question its motivation. Okay. This ruined my podcast. What do you mean? Did you hear me in the background? Dude, this guy really hates spiders. You can tell by, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, these aren't spiders. Spiders have eight legs. You did not cut around that corner, did you? You fucking asshole, I, I'm glad you're gone. Way to fuck that up. Okay, yeah, chat, if we weren't sure before, now we know. Scissor plus mouth equals no tongue. He, he took out his tongue. Uh, oh, Jesus. The largest spider I have ever seen with its gut carved open. Okay. Nothing. Jesus! He's got a big fucking tongue! That's like, got a big fucking tongue. Well, I just lost it by accident. That's gone forever. That was, I was gonna be, a, I was gonna throw that at people. And now poof, it's gone. <sighs> I should probably save once more now that I've collected all this stuff before I forget. Dude, no wonder that spider fucking climbed in his fucking mouth. Oh, it looks like we're finally running out of batteries. I mean, I got extras. No wonder that... Wait a minute. We have no extras. Apparently, these things go straight into my battery thing automatically. So I'm actually out of battery, pretty much. I wonder if it was using it while I was reading. You think? I should probably turn it off before I read from now on. I might have been doing that. Yes, probably. Well, I mean, it didn't look like it was moving time. Glow stick is infinite. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we can we can live with this for a while. This is fine. This hole isn't large enough for a man. Not that I'd go anywhere near it, even if it was. What burrowed out of this hole? Uh, Greenland gophers. Dude, extremely aggressive. Beef jerky. Well, we, uh... Not really sure what we gained from this other than a Zippo lighter ready to burn things. Oh, wait, we needed that, didn't we? Hang on. Notes, explosives. We needed a way to light, light it anyways. We just need to find black gunpowder now. We also got another key, but I think that just goes to this. I still think I'm missing something in here. Hang on. I feel like I, I feel like I whiffed something in my in my exploration. All right, all right. I didn't need that tongue, did I? I hope not, because that thing's gone. Tongue's gone. We're not getting that back. Tongue's gone for good. This thing also definitely he's gone. He's not coming back either. Lots of paper boxes with rusty nails. Well, we have Baxtrin. 
I need a line to make fuse out of for a, uh, and gunpowder. I'm so tempted to go back into the cave again, make sure I didn't miss anything in the cave real quick. I might go back in one more time, do a quick sweep of the cave before I leave this place. Just one more quick little sweep to the cave, chat. Because I feel like I would have used that, uh... I feel like I would have used that, that light, the uh, lighter to burn like a... To burn some, like, web or something is what I thought I would have used it for. What the hell is this? Old, dusty, dry bag. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything before we leave. This is a sort of seems like a game where you definitely don't want to miss things, so... And check this before I say I'm never coming back. Huh. Well, that would have been helpful late earlier. I think I can break these too. Hang on. Eh. 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 Okay, I can't break those ones. Anything else? Nope. Alright, we're done here. Let's go. Missed the AK-47, idiot. You're missing the AK. Arms too wimpy. I would say my arm. I could kill a spider with these fucking arms, dude. I could take that. Ah, Jesus. That was that was in my house. I heard a bang in my actual house. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. Missed the nuke. I can't have a I can't have this out while I do this. For all I know, this key literally opens the fucking next zone. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't miss any doors. This place is that big. So I don't think I missed anything. Nah, we we good. Let's get out of it. Let me let, let me save since I turned off that steam. Might as well, and then we're getting out of here. Missed the diamond sword. Yeah, whatever. Does this does this glow stick turn off like flashlight do? Not really. Oh, it's just G. Okay. Hello? I definitely heard a growl. Let's just keep going from there. I don't see anything, but I reckon I wouldn't be shocked if I have someone turned this corner while I was here. Yeah, you can definitely hear it. Let's swing back into the office quickly, and we're gonna try that main. Actually, I'm gonna try the main door now. Now that I've got the key, Let's see if that opens that. Okay, whatever whatever was here is in the office area. Let's check this. So this is locked. All right. We're in. Let's close this before anything follows me. Yeah. And I don't know. Really close it? Because I don't think we can lock it again now. So let's just really close it for now. So I can regret it when I find a big fucking really scary monster in here in about 10 seconds. Oh, it might be a good idea to block the door. Yeah, I fucking knew it a mile away, motherfucker. See you later. All right, here we here we are now. There's explosives in that way. Workshop that way. I think we want to swing by explosives. Try to get a. Uh, try to get ourselves. There's a totally another monster in this area, chat. You're not gonna do it. No. Oh, he did it! Oh, fuck you! I'm dead. I gotta run. Yeah! Yeah! Fuck you! Get the fuck away from me! Get the fuck out of here! 
out of here. Fuck you. Ow! <laughs> He's very quick. This is what? Eh! Ha! <laughs> See you later, dipshit! Ooh! You're faster if you bunny hop in this game. Just check. Fuck off! I'll hit you with this, I will! Help! Help! Eat jerky! Take medicine! I can't lose him! He's extremely fast! That's it! You made a big mistake! You're, you're lucky I... Man, once they're on you, dude, they're on you. I didn't stand a fucking chance. Okay, well, fuck blocking this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I got stuff going on, dude. I think I need to, I know I need this. This is TNT, I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need, a I'm gonna need to get a fuse from another area. I also need a combo at the workshop. What's the point of even blocking you? He's just gonna get it anyways. We watched it happen. I should throw those fucking lamps. Oh, there he is. There's that fucking asshole. Look at him. He must think he's so cool. That bad boy. Is he coming over here? What's he doing? Well, I mean, I gotta get out of here. I should have thrown those fucking lamps away. I should have, like, hucked them. I'm in the, This is like- I'm reckoning this is like fucking thief tier shadowing, alright? So I bet... If I'm in basic darkness at any point in time... I might as well be invisible in this fucking thing. So I'm going. This is 2005. Darkness was different back then. I'm out. Shouldn't he smell you? I were, I were smell masking deodorant. All right. This must be the only exit and it's caved in. I love my workshop. It is too great a hunting ground to let others gorge there. Why did he miss? He spelled. He misspelled two. That's supposed to be two O's. One cannot help but feel four. He also misspelled four. The fucking idiot. Actually, what is this guy doing? Four. Those without such delicate mousy morsels on which to munch. Four red. Eight. Eight. What the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> For red ate ravenously of their flesh today, and shall continue to do so. This is possible thanks solely to the button pad I installed on the door, and yet Red's mind is working somewhat backwards today. So it's 8412. You know, you probably didn't need to, uh, you probably could have just capitalized it and spelled it right, and people would have been able to connect those dots. But also, Really fucking, really good shit. I think he just couldn't smell, dude. He's gonna carry this TNT with me everywhere I go. At least I know the dog is no scarier than the thief to uh, guard. Which is cool for me. Cause that totally changed, that makes me very confident, honestly. All right, what was this thing again? Eight, 
412. I'm in. Bro, this is scary. I'm actually really enjoying this game so far. Brilliant, one step closer to getting on, setting off those explosives without losing any vital parts. Did we just get fused? Nice, we got fused. I think that's actually everything we do need. Save point. I've never played this game, so it's all new to me. I'm really enjoying it. These must be tied into whatever's going on here. If I keep experimenting, I may discover something useful or have a heart attack. True. <laughs> Worn and torn, yet the edge is still sharp to the touch. Uh, cells. Uh oh! Do I want to do this? Because, like... More spider webs. I hope that hole was there before the spiders and not the other way around. Because, like... I'm hearing... I mean, I'm definitely not going to be allowed to do that. An electric fence. It's been put up recently. Better find a way to get over. I did not want to turn you off, motherfucker. God damn it, it's gone. Light's gone. I like that light. Now it's gone forever. Accidentally turned I was trying to pick that one up, too. They're just gone. Ah, looking at these webs makes my skin crawl. Okay, this is just a circle for the sake of having a circle, which scares me more than you could ever imagine. Just gonna whip that open real quick. Evidently, we're gonna need to go in a circle soon. I'm glad I opened it early. For later. Maybe it's for the best that the lights are out too, for that reason. Is that Greenland brand paint? Greenland? What the fuck is this? Oh, that's rocks. I thought these were eggs. It looks like this hole's at least three feet below the surface. The light's being refracted through all that ice. It could just be a piece of ice reflect reflecting the light, or more likely my, ana my imagination, but something's definitely catching my eye under those rocks. Could it be? Some sort of... Oh my god. Minecraft. Minecraft, baby, Minecraft. All the things that you'll need to be a successful carpenter. Here we have... Looks ancient, it's so old I don't even know what it could have been used for. This is a spin thing. This is what they called it back in the day. You'd uh, tape someone to it and make them spin very quickly. It's a torture tool. It makes them spin around very quickly. I'm gonna activate this again. I, I, I know I'm saving a lot, chat, but like... Minor inconveniences and all, you know? Like having to grab the pickaxe again and shit. What age is this? The horror age, where the game gets really scary. The Minecraft game. It gets very scary at this point, Jeff. Where am I? I think we want to get to the northern area. Obviously. We have the bomb. Let me uh, put the fuse on this. It's only a cotton string. I won't be able to make a fuse out of this yet. What do you mean? It's soaked in Baxter, so the gunpowder should stick. Or rather, I really pray the gunpowder sticks. Okay, there we go. Now! I can't ignite a soaked string. It has to be a proper fuse. Now I just need some gunpowder. Well, this is TNT, not really gunpowder, is it? So I need to find gunpowder still. The gunpowder should be in here. I would assume gunpowder's in here. I have to go into the fucking shithole. 
Well, I guess let's cut the electricity. I think we need to get over that fucking electric fence. Or build a way to get over it. Yeah. I don't think I can just get over this thing. Well, the power's like coiling around here. Free flare. I guess I'll just. I guess I could. I guess I could just barrel over it. Doesn't seem very safe. I could just eh, barrel over it if I just get it over the fucking thing here. Hang on, can I pull it out this way? No, they were smarter than that. I'll have to create a ramp. God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Fine. We'll ramp it. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> I can tell a mile away this isn't gonna work, but I think that's what it wants me to do. There's enough of these planks, I think that's what it wants me to do. But I'm like, I don't know, my brain is screaming, don't do it, it's a trick. You're gonna look like an idiot in front of everyone. 2005 physics, dude. This is like Exanima tier shit I'm doing. In a game from 2005 or whatever. Was this game 2005 or 6? Or was it 7? I know it's one of those three years. 2007? Yeah, that sounds about right. It sounds more realistic than 2005. That would have been like this coming out at the same time as Half Life. And if this came out around Half Life, this would have been. Fucking life. <laughs> this thing's not sideways anymore! Okay, there. Now it should go up this. It needed to be on its side. I think. I hope. I I sure hope. Come on, man. All right. And come on. Oh, I need to be like, I need to be up the thing a little bit. Oh, I got it fucking close, dude. I got it real close there. I bet there's other ways to do this, or easier ways, or this isn't the way at all, but it's my way, chat. It's the way I'm choosing to do it, because my brain is already locked on. <laughs> we put it on sideways, fuck! My ramp! My ramp! <laughs> all my work, my dreams, shattered. Okay. Turn it. No, we gotta turn it. It. You need to like, you need to run this thing over there, or you, or it just fucking doesn't work. Holy shit! We got one try right now. We're in the per we got the perfect angle. I'm gonna just run it. That angle got so fucked at the end. Chat. This is cursed. This I don't think we're supposed to do this. This surely isn't the way. But now. Go! Don't you fucking give up on me now! Go! <sighs> okay, simple as that. Hang on, you wait right here. <laughs> I gotta save my game. What if I like I, I chat? What if I like try to do it and I, like jump over and I instantly die and I have to do that again? Think about that. I have to save. Okay. All right. This will get us over that electric fence, no problem. I'm in. How'd that hurt me? Am I okay? As fit as I can be. Good. Uh, I deactivated the electricity. A loose battery is powering the fence. Can't be that long ago this was set up. Whoever's lighting all these lights. This is lit recently, chat. Explosives. Damn it, how am I gonna get in there now? The door does look very weak and old. Ah! Hey! Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Y'all got a... Uh... Y'all got any spare plant fiber and leather in here? I'm in the sickly spawn point still, baby. You guys gotta have something for me, dude. You can't be holding out on me. These look like homemade cherry bombs. Very small explosives, probably soaked through by now. Put the pickaxe away. Why'd I do that? What am I, an idiot? <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. Dynamite. I need to start thinking straight. Alright, this thing's already good to go. I pulled it out. It looks fucking done. I need to start thinking straight. Get your head out of the gutter. Okay, so we still need this to find gunpowder. We got dynamite. That doesn't really help me with the gunpowder part, I guess. We just got dynamite. Unless we need a longer, unless we attach this to something else. Yeah. I think we're done in here. Unless there's something else in here. Nope. No, nothing, nothing here. These cherry bombs are garbage. Let's go. Barrel, maybe? Nah, this barrel is actually a powder keg. God damn it. All right, this looks just like a normal barrel. If someone hadn't told me this, was, if someone didn't say barrel, maybe I actually probably would have never come back here again. I would have been stuck for 30 years. Because that looks, that is the exact same fucking model as this barrel. Pretty much. It's like close enough that I wouldn't, I would have been like, that's another barrel. Hole's too small to thread the spring the string through. Why well, that's not gonna do it. Am I hmm. not big enough to reach it? <laughs> that didn't seem safe, but whatever. Hitting something metal with another thing that's metal that also contains explosive powder. Yeah, we'll just manually smash it open. All right, we got a fuse. The dynamite's for me. The dynamite's a, like, you know, a tool for me to have fun with. The, uh, we're using the big keg to break this bad boy open. That's recreational dynamite. All right. We gotta go back to that fucking cave in now. Whenever it grays like that, whenever it does that light thing, it means that I've progressed in objectives, I think. I know where I'm taking this. We're gonna head on up here. We're gonna look for a place to put this down. Should I fuse it? Do I just put it in right now? I don't wanna risk it going off until I'm ready. Where well, we are ready. Let's find a good spot to put this thing down. It also refills your health. That's pretty cool. That's good. Because that dog is fucked up. Hang on, real quick. I see. I think the dog's just been patrolling over there this whole time. Ooh. Nothing. Yeah, there he is, the fucking asshole. He's got Thief 2 AI, so he shouldn't be... I think I can literally see the hole I'm supposed to jam this in. No. Fuse. All right. Now, lighter. Ah. Move in. Ow! Ow! My arms just got blown off. I'm fine. Just do so. Do what Mad Max does. Take painkillers for it. Just do what fucking Max Payne in the Max Payne games does when he's fucking riddled with holes. Not Mad Max. Fucking, fucking Max Payne. Remember? I remember the third game. He's like full of holes. And he's like, he's like literally full of holes in Max Payne 3. And he takes one thing of painkillers and I'm good. <laughs> he, they like, 
animate the bleeding holes, and it's just like, ah, oh, dude, you know? It's good. When I look back, I can't think what spurred me to go deeper into the mine. Perhaps it was arrogance at still being alive or something as ridiculous as facing adversity and coming out on top. Now I know I would have been better off starving or being mauled to death than kick-starting the chain of events that led me to end up here, writing to you. I just hope once you understand my story, you will have what's necessary to put an end to this tale. I certainly didn't. Hello? Okay, well, it's not a cave anymore. We're sort of in like a facility facility. I wish all my batteries hadn't been deleted by reading notes. Both empty. Good hiding spots, I guess. All of it's empty. Hello? Hello? Any more wolves? The noises down here are so alien compared to the way sound travels on the surface. That rock fall almost sounded organic. Like the rocks screaming. No, it sounded like rocks to me. Yeah, I throw explosives around. Dude, I ain't scared. They'd have, there'd have to be some kind of backup system for the electricity. I think this might be part of it. Power room. They were clearly screaming to me, though. You're right, you're right. Hang on, water break. Your shadow of the Colossus wish came true. Rocks can talk. Nice. There's a battery symbol on the side, but it's welded sh shut tight. If they had some kind of machine for opening these, it's not here anymore. We need the spin thing. Remember the thing I saw? That the guy said didn't know what it does. It also spins very quick. It opens. The Ooh, there we go. Fucking finally, battery. We need the spin thing. I felt like I was leaving my body for a moment. Steelberg Generator Type 7G. Congratulations on your purchase of this Type 7 product line. We are certain that you will be pleased with your new petrol-driven electrical backup system. Below are highlighted just a few of the added and improved features of the 7G model. One, avoid personal wear and tear. The wind-up startup motor has been replaced with a battery-driven unit. Two, grease in the industrial workplace can be an accident-inducing insurance nightmare, so enjoy the new increased grease control system. Electrical insulation can be expensive to install and maintain, so the economical 7G basic model arrives without electrical insulation. Uh, good. Is that a bonus? Is that a good extra that you're proud to talk about? Congratulations on your new, incredibly dangerous, unsealed electrical model. Whatever. And much, much more. Quick start guide. Ensure the area surrounding 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheating. Two, connect and confirm secondary flow by turning appropriate valve. Three, turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Four, release excess steam until pressures within safe limits. Five, begin grease flow. Ensuring leakage is minimal. Six, return ma turn main valve and confirm primary flow. Seven, pull main operation lever. And eight, check energy output. Your unit should now be fully functional. Why do I get the weird feeling I have to do all that? <laughs> okay, fine. From the look of things, I guess this is the control panel for that generator. This is grease flow. Hydraulics, some sort of fluid control. I'm definitely at a loss on this one. Well, this one right here, this one right here's gotta be, uh, this right here has to be primary flow. It's the last one on the list. Symbol for water? Symbol's, this one's blank. And this one's I. All right, well, uh, this thing's huge. It must be 3.5 megawatts. It's pretty old. Certainly enough to light a few bulbs, though. We'll have to turn it on manually. With our bare hands. 
There. I've jotted down a note just in case. Of what? Main generator won't run without its starter motor being powered. Which I guess is down this dark. Uh. Foreboding. Deep. Horrific. Grim pit. No, I don't think it's down here. I think I just climbed into a pit to die. Is this like the crazy pit? Where people were like going crazy? With like the lead poisoning when they went down here? Hang on, I'm going back upstairs. I'm getting out of there. Eh. Where the hell did this go then? Oh, it goes across and then around. Ah, it looks like industrial fuses. Well, these don't have any power. We need, we need to like activate something. Oh, Jesus. This should have, that should have sparked the starter motor. I suppose it can't get by without a battery after all. Do I have to go back and get that battery? Oh no. I've already left that area through a tube. I don't think that's the case. We'll have to keep exploring for now. I think I need a battery. Some sort of power cell. There's still more to this place. Awful lot more. Hello? I have to warn you, I know Taekwondo. Oh, it's just you, dog. Okay, well. Now that I know it's just the dog. Just like everything else down here, it's all decaying and not working. Yeah, just a very angry dog. Okay, but you hear, see, here's the thing that's like freaking me out is that this game added these things, which makes me feel like I'm expected to evade these monsters through increasingly wacky circumstances, which I'm never jazzed about. Yeah, nothing in there. Let's check this. So evidently we're powering the area so that we can activate that keypad. But... Well, what's the point of having it if we don't know how to even, what the keypad combo even is? It's comms equipment. Can't be within signal range. I got a radio. Beeping's coming from the speakers. Maybe there's someone out there after all. 12th of January, 72. Boys, I'd come to have a word with you myself, but I've got more important things to do than piss about making sure you're all doing your jobs properly. I know it's, uh, so I know it's, uh, Morph. Morse code. Morse code. I know it's that. I'm sure this thing's gonna tell me how to translate it, matter of fact, so don't do it for me. Even though you probably will. Now, I know there's a certain amount of camaraderie between you lot, playing pranks and jokes on each other. It comes with the territory, and that's fine, so long as you don't add me to your list. God knows you need something to keep you entertained down here. However, you all know well that Penrose has some very deep-seated issues with his height, so anyone who thought it'd be a good idea to sabotage his generator then hide all the spare fuses on the top shelf of the storeroom would quite clean, clearly need his head examined. You get me? Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. In other news, Jones, I want that inventory done today, and the rest of you, it's not all fun and games, you hear? On a serious note, another radio's gone missing, and you'd better hope to God that means one of you's lost it, because stealing ain't a pretty word in my book. It's the third one this month, which means the amnesty on coming clean is fast coming to a close, and there'll be repercussions, got it? What's strange is you're all supposed to be working in pairs, so nobody should be able to get their hands on a radio without the other spotting it. And when I find out who's responsible, I'm gonna find out how they got away with it so long that I'm going to fling them out into the snow and leave them there. 
They'll just disappear into the night, just like all those radios. Harvard, lead my informant. Doot, doot. These radio, these spare radio parts don't look spare at all. They almost look like they've been put here recently. Fucking boxes. Semper bug. Tomato socks. I mean, I'm probably gonna get a way to translate it through, like, more in a different room, so I'm not even gonna bother caring yet. I prefer you guys don't tell me the answer either, please. Just yet. <coughs> fuses. It says 50 amp fuses on the box, but it's empty still. The contents can't be that far away. There's our... There's a fuse, how do I reach it? By jumping. Or do you really need me to stack boxes like a fucking loser? Alright. Ah! Got it. Got it. Got another flare too. Emergency procedures. In the event of an emergency, all mine workers are asked to follow the standard emergency procedure detailed in the leaflet provided. Rescue services will be, will already be on their way. And so under no circumstances should employees attempt to aid colleagues themselves or contact emergency services. This code sheet is provided for use in the extremely unlikely event that you are trapped in the mine with no way in which to signal or otherwise contact emergency crews. In this scenario, you should what? Ensure the stability of the surrounding environment by gently tapping and feeling the rocks. Two, once you feel certain that there is no risk of rock slide, check to see if you have any form of communications device at hand and attempt to send a distress signal using this code sheet. Three, should such a device be unavailable or damaged, begin firmly tapping out a message on the wall of the cave. Rescue crews will hear you and arrive promptly to dig you out. Morse references. Okay, perfect. Let's do some Morse. I'm gonna start at that point so I don't get lost. Cause that's the first one. Beep, 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 beep. I think the first one was a five. These are numbers. These are all really long combos. Five. Five, uh, seven. Five, seven, three. Eight, five, seven, three, eight. Someone write that down. Actually, I'll write it down. There's five, seven, three. My pen's fucked. I don't have any working pens. No! I really need that. Because people lie. Hang on. Five, seven, three, eight. There we go. Alright, Chet. We have to make the fucking... We gotta make the goddamn generator work now. Which is, uh... Hell on Earth, in my opinion. I don't think I missed anything else. So it looks like we gotta swing by the generator. And, uh, get that working. With this fuse. Shall we? Play with uh, the grease valves. All right. Where does this thing go in here? They go in here. Nope. Am I crazy? Did I miss an item? I need to start thinking straight. True, man. Nope. I 
missed an item I need. There's this here. There's a battery symbol on the side, but it's welded tight shut. I, they need some kind of machine for... Oh, oh I know how to open this. Alright, let's just... Let's just get this the hell out of the way real... Ah! Ah! Let's just get this box open real quick the old-fashioned way. Ah! That better have opened, or I'm gonna be really mad. Can I save once I get this? I'm not gonna save before in case it didn't open. But I don't see a box down here anymore, so it must have opened. Yeah, I see it. Gotcha, motherfucker, gotcha. I'm having fun with this. I really like this so far. I think I like it more than I ever liked Amnesia, for sure. I mean, I still don't remember what I disliked so much about Amnesia. I didn't like the sanity meter. I didn't like, my, like, min, like micromanaging two separate meters along with lantern fuel. I didn't like that. I didn't like that if you ran out of lantern fuel, you were essentially getting punished twice in a row. I think that was my issue with Amnesia. But this game's got an infinite fuel system. I definitely think I enjoy it more so far. All right, batteries in, startup motor functional. We should be set. Do I start this first, or do I need to activate all the other things? Let me pause. Okay, at this generator's age, it's a wonder it starts at all. I should check the fuse box. All right, so the, one of these is burned out. Now we're going to throw this back in. Now, we pull this. Either the air down here is getting to me or I haven't read those instructions right. Okay. Okay, these are all just textures. Let's pop open the instructions. Number one, ensure the area surrounding the 7G is clear of equipment and personnel in case of overheating. Connect and confirm secondary flow by turning the appropriate valve. This is secondary flow. I can tell because it's a faded out tube. Is there any equipment in the area that could cause overheating? I'm not seeing any equipment in the area. That would be a problem for overheating. Next step three. Turn on cooling system to avoid overheating. Okay. Cooling might mean water. Like so. Turn on the water. I wish there was a quick way to go straight back to the note I was just on. Step four. Release excess steam until pressure is within safe limits. This has to be steam. I mean, I'm not even, are we like, do I have to leave, do it, does this have to be on while we're doing this part? Okay, no, it does not have to be on. Did it reset all these? Yeah, it resets them. Does one need to be on? I think that's like the thing that makes it, I think that needs to be on. Then two, then water. And steam. Wait a minute, now that's grease. Fuck! Hang on, redo, 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 redo. It just, it's just an order game. Let's just do it in order. I turned on the grease. I think one goes first. I think we need one, then two. Because I think that's like... Hang on, I'm just going to open the thing again. This would, this would be a lot easier to tell if it's like... Pull the main operation lever, check energy output, your system. Okay, turn the main valve. Shit! All right, one is the last thing we do. That's the last thing on the list. Okay, we've, we got it. Let's see. Right. Two first. Then, I lost track of where I was. Two, then, cooling system, which I'm going to guess is water. Then steam, which is the far one. Then grease. So it's this one. The 
then steam, then grease, and then main valve. And then pull. already know the combo for the keypad. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, uh, ah, my eyes. This place is nice and bright now. We can see. Everything's starting to look up for the group. I'm... Good day. Good day, can you hear me? Well... I hope that uh, your ears are working better than your tongue. So that you guess like I was done talking. My words. You have turned on the light at the end, beginning and middle of the tunnel. But some things remain shrouded in darkness. My Morrissey message I hope has helped, but what you need now is to the wall hole to the right of the fence. Well, go now. There is no time to explain. Oh, well, look at you, you in stupid fact, time idiot. is one of the few things we have in abundance down here. What surprises are spoiled by such catty curiosity. Hey, he looks a little bit like he's half-eaten, doesn't he? Well, wall hole at the end of the fence? Uh, I see no fences other than this one. Chat. I see no fences. So, I don't think that's this area. There are no fences. To the right of the fence. Wall hole. That would be, I guess right when we get through this way but I mean there's a fucking angry dog that's gonna come get me right now if I go through here I'm not sure I really want to activate this thing in fucking pure plain light I can see a map a little bit over there well worst case if the dog aggroes I'm gonna run back to the power room and hide there maybe the dog will be scared of me around him now once he comes in here. Oh, he knows I'm here. I think he's smart enough to do this. This will, this will give me some time. Okay, he knows how... Does he know how to jump down? No. Alright, bye-bye. where we are, but I went right in the fence. Which was what the guy told me to do. Ah, my memory is like something with a great many small holes. We shall be needing to perform some minor demolition work so that we might one day meet again. Who the fuck is this For this guy? task, we shall require the use of a large earth-eating metal monster. And that monster is thirsty for juice from the place where things are kept. What the fuck is this guy saying? That monster is way, thirsty for the juice! It's not my name, you understand, but but I am sure you will agree. It is a name rather similar to a cardigan. Fetching when worn correctly. Okay. Whatever you Oh, no. They didn't, like, they did not look at him or he can hear me. I think better. That's how this works. Just like amnesia. And there he goes. If I can get it, if I can get this over there, then I can climb. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, really? He sees me. I can't climb that high. Okay. Uh, I don't know how fast he is. He's probably fast enough. I was gonna run to the tool shed. Uh. See him yet. It's a pull. All right. Okay, we lost him. I'm just gonna put this in front of the door. 
That's a heavy box. Dogs are stupid. I'm just not gonna be able to get that thing open. I have to like use my hands to open that. All right. Got a saw. From that. Some batteries. A saw. Rusty enough that I wish I'd had that tetanus shot, but still sharp enough to saw through wood. And the letter. Xeno Report 66B, Phase 9, Anno 9002. Filed by... Well, Anno, Anno 1992. Uh, filed by Chief Attending Xeno Officer for the eyes of the leading installation officer only. Leader. Unlike the other findings, 66B appears to be one of manufactured rather than natural origin, and so warrants additional interest and, need I say, security. The bulk of Substance 63 was discovered only six yards from where Artifact 66B was buried, and appears at least in part to consist of a solidified form of 63 with a number of, of operable appendages. The Artifact emits a low level of light from a seemingly inexhaustible energy supply, suggesting its origin is indeed as was suspected. Of course, the ramifications of this fact are clear, and appropriate measures are already being taken. Progress in becoming enlightened as to the purpose of this device, if needed. If indeed it served a purpose in the traditional sense at all, has been slow. Following protocol to the letter, I assigned my secondary officer to the artifact on phase seven, only for him to go missing the following day. He eventually returned to the site from a previously uncharted area of the mines, presumably having discovered a new route, avoiding the cavens. At this stage, we can only assume what transpired since he remains in a state of disorientation. Far be it from me to question the decisions of the elevated cast, but I am struggling to understand the necessity of conducting standard scientific testing in this case. I, of course, have full faith in the abilities of the research team put together and sent here by my immediate superior. I simply wonder whether their time might be better employed on the main site. Nevertheless, it is comforting to know that the actions of every member of the organization are carefully choreographed and controlled by those far outranking myself both in stature and wisdom and with this in mind I feel fully justified in filing an unofficial an official sorry official wait an official request for further manpower we have already lost a number of workers to unforeseen events largely while engaging in the studies mentioned earlier and further investigation of the area calls for volunteers to carry out tasks altogether too hazardous in nature to risk the well-being of more elevated organization members. In particular, the tunnel system above the secondary site requires immediate cartography. Xeno report. Chat, that's not a good thing to see. Or hear. Xeno report. Xeno report. Well, I don't see anything else here. I did get the saw. So I can cut wood now if I need to. Aliens, Shad. I knew it was the thing again. I'm lost now. I used to know where I was, but then I had to run from a dog. Tool shed. I guess I'll go to excavation and storage. Hope I don't see another dog. Oh, here's a map. We're right here. Okay. I got an idea of where I am. This place is very large. Dog. I've activated supervision from being stationary for long enough. I can see like fucking Riddick, dude. He's gone down that way. All right, let's go. I can't get this door open. All right, no getting into storage then. Those holes in my mind are increasingly gaping. You cannot breach the inner sanctum of the place of storing. The entryway is blocked. So what if the squashy material between my ears is squashier than most? I may not be perfect like a hanging picture, but my words are wise and backed up by time. A pox! A pox on both your brain cells! 
Try as I may, you must think that I deceive you with my admittingly cunning ways. The fuck is this as guy far talking? as my eye has seen, our rocky grave extends, and yet you cast away my hope like you would a puppy freshly rolled in its own feces. Uh. I hope that your warped sense of morality is better company than I, because now it is all you have left. Okay, you have a good day now too, man. Guess we're not friends anymore. I'm sorry. Okay. Sometimes my emotions are like a disobedient pet. Uncontrollable and often rolling in shit. Okay. Better safe than sorry, they say. But I think we are both sorrier than we are safe. A tunnel lies between a nearby watery cave and the place where things are kept. Take the second right from the closed door and you will find what you seek. Second right from this door? So I pass the way that dog just went and I go the next way. And I'll find it? Okay. A bit worried about the dog situation, you know, because the dog's literally right there. I just don't want to look at him because he can hear me if I look at him. He's going down that way and let's roll. This is excavation. I think this is what he's talking about. Wait a minute. This would have been the second tunnel. Ah. Uh, this might not be the right place. This might just be a big mistake. This is a big mistake. Being in here. Piercing white light still not enough to illuminate the whole room. Supplies in this box look military. They can't be more than 20 years old. Okay. This shit's starting to come, become a little bit thing-like, chat. What the fuck was that? That must be the tunnel leading to the storeroom. It's pretty high, though. Okay, this is the place. Ah. Pet. Ah. I can't believe that worked. For better or for worse, it looks like I can climb up to the tunnel's mouth. Good enough. Now I just gotta get some boxes stacked. We should save our fucking game. That was a reach, dude. The man still clutching, looking for... Still looking? For what? Before him lies metal, jutting awkwardly from the earth. A hatch, a portal, a hole, a door, unfamiliar text. Who are these figures huddled around? What secrets are hidden behind the faces of men? I felt something that time that I didn't feel before, but I'm sure it's always been there. It's as if a small part of me is still trapped inside the artifact. The test substance continues to defy identification. Both chemical and xeno investigations fail to produce meaningful results. Testing continues. Test 102, bromine test, normal. Test 103, acid amide test, negative. Test 104, ammonia, negative, unreactive. Test 105, hydrochloric acid solution, negative for sulfate, sulfide, and chlorate ions. Test 106, standard hallucinogens, mild intoxicant. Tests abandoned due to most of the test subjects suffering massive internal hemorrhaging within one to two hours. Test 107, positive, negative, mental, me mental cations, incomplete. Test 108, human hallucinogens, incomplete. Testing of the gaseous fog has been considerably more successful. It appears to be a harmless blend of sulfur chlorine and aromatic armine, which gives it the floating visual effect. Please note that harmless here is used in the xenochemic sense. It is harmless in so far as we have identified it, and so we can take the necessary safety procedures. If directly ingested, it would naturally be lethal. Test 159, potassium dichromate paper. Positive for sulfur. 161. Negative for all the chlorine. I'm not sure if any of these are necessary to me, but test 10301. Hydrochloric acid positive. Work continues on the issue of transporting the substance. So far, removing it from its dormant location caused its base state to radically change, producing massive heat to the detriment of three workers, one of whom is no longer operational due to his injuries. Following heat dissipation, the substance appears to turn dead, unreactive to every test we have the equipment to run. 
The prevailing theory is somehow the disruption of material causes it to enter hugely accelerated chemical decay. We estimate its half-life to be approximately 0.4 seconds. I'm gonna touch it. I'm going in. No, I'm not. The rock itself looks like it's given up on life and begun to decay like the rest of this place. I'm gonna save that. I'm going. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna lick it. I'm gonna put it in my mouth. I'm gonna see what happens. Hit! Looks like some kind of excavation, although I'm not. Not like any mining operation I've ever seen. I don't know where that mist is coming from, but I don't fancy getting closer to find out. Yeah. No, it actually doesn't do anything. It's nothing. We can touch it. Chat, it's not that scary. It's just the mist. Alright, let's get climbing. I get the weird feeling I'm not high enough yet. I think I can pick this one up vertically. No, but I do think I can do it like this. <laughs> this is an elaborate, this is an elaborate plan, but it should do what I need to do. Albeit a little bit awkwardly. Should get me up there. <laughs> Yeah? There we go. We're up. Come on, chat. All right, my guy fell and broke his legs. You guys all saw it. <laughs> I've got no choice but to move on. Whatever made this tunnel its home clearly made it unstable as well. My god, nothing weighs eggs that big. They're leathery, so they can't be mammalian. More likely amphibious or insectoid, I really don't like the way they're moving. All right. Bye bye. What is that? I don't even care if I'm going crazy. I'm blocking that tunnel off. Blocked. I hope these came from an animal. I have my suspicions, but I need to get out of here. Okay. Those are some big fucking bones for an animal, dude. Of any kind. Those are some huge bones. Ah, no. We're gonna go, uh, this way. A broken paraffin lamp. Highly flammable. I can barely see the paraffins in my eyes. Oh, Jesus! What just happened to me? I don't know what happened to me. Oh, it saved me here. The boulder? Did I crush myself with the boulder? I was trying to seal the fucking spiders. You can't, you can't like slide this thing very well. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think what I wanted to do was slide this out of the way and go in here. Now you should find yourself in the wandering cave of conversation space. With the tunnel above you from time to head. What are you it's fucking talking about, bro? Be careful, not curious. Ah! Uh -huh. Fuck you! About the cat. And repeating myself is not only out of the question, Come here. but out of the window and climbing down the gutter. That scared me. There are spiders in the tunnels that love to suck on the human fluids. So do not disturb the walls. They are fragile like the China. Fuck off! In the hoops of the Thanks. Wall. That actually scared me. I can't get this boulder over me. Come on, man. Don't make me... I got a hang on. We're gonna have to... Get out of here. Oh, you're trapped now. Look at us. I'm dead. Alright, those are very scary fucking spiders. Well... Oh, we're here again. Okay, well, now I know how to do it. I'm glad this game's auto-saving at these parts, because some of these things are a little bit crusty for sure. Ah. ah! Get away from me! This way. Ah! 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 
Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I can't go that fast, Chad. I'm slow. It doesn't. I can't go that fast. I'm going maximum speed. Stop. Softlock, dude. I genuinely don't think I can do this. I think the game just softlocked me. Is there like hotkeys for this shit? Because otherwise, I'm at the mercy of not getting fucking hit by these. Take that now. Nope, dead. I know they don't like the light, but I mean, there's a lot of these fucking things right now. Okay, that does keep them away from me. All right, all right, all right, all right. It's more aggressive. The light's better than I thought it was. I knew that it scared him out. Hang on, can I like get a flare? That'll keep him away for longer. Let's go. Jesus, I thought I got soft locked for a second, dude. I was really scared. Ah. Diamonds any second now. That must be the storage room. Thank God I I'm alive. A lesser gamer would have quit. No, I mean, I would have eventually just looked at it with the. I would have used the flare, probably. And then figured out they left me alone at that point. There should be some insect repellent in that red and white cross box in that room. Ooh. Just in case those spiders found your flesh delicious. How does my brain flesh know your fluids are leaking? Because the red tricked you. <laughs> what? I'm so what? The spidery tunnel What'd was a flower from a necessary evil. More so, it served as a well-deserved punishment. You thought my mind had been lost to the ravages of time. But poetic justice has struck with a sonnet I... and an eight-legged baptism you of fire. Sent me there just to as like a punishment? Cold. I hope that we can be good friends. Uh, We're not friends. The key and, go -go friends. and find a way to the mining monster. Fuck you, Red. What? Whatever. What a prick. So I guess that leads back out. Outside. Lots of equipment. That was a cool sequence. I don't... I, I, that didn't really make me... I, I, the only reason I got frustrated because I thought the game genuinely softlocked me. Because I looked at chat and, like, someone in chat said, Yeah, the game saved mine here, too. And I was like, oh my god. Is this like a random chance that you just turn the corner and the game instantly fucks you with an autosave and you just get killed over and over again? That's what I was worried about. This must house the interior ventilation system. The whole installation is falling apart. Lots of equipment. It's all useless. Flares? I'll take those. These flares are nice. It's 2007, so I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, I was like, this is an old game. It's a little crusty around the edges. Did the game just fuck me? The vent system must snake all over. It looks like a tight squeeze. I don't fancy it, but unless I absolutely have to. Does that mean I can actually fit in this one? Oh no. Okay, well. 
We're gonna need a key to open this. Old storage locker. We're gonna have to go back into the vents to get in. Oh no. All right. Nothing's ever been an event but a head crap. That's not that scary, you know what I'm saying? I need a fucking- is there a hotkey to take out my pickaxe faster, chat? You can just tell me. Cuz, uh... Cuz it takes a little while to get, whip this out. What is it? Will Tomato ever use hotkeys in his playthrough, chat? Shut the fuck up! How about you tell me the fucking hotkey? Oh, okay. How about you fucking tell me I'll do it and start being real tomato? Will I be the jackass who says eight times? Will he ever? Hang on, I want to see how many times you said it. Hang on. Because I feel like you said it like five times. Now I need to know. Okay, you're good. Multiple people have been saying, will he ever use them? But no one ever said, hey, tomato, this is how you use them. Which might be more maddening than backseating is when the backseater and said just does just does this thing where they say, I hope one day he figures out how to do this thing that they know I'm gonna fucking see because they're saying my name in the fucking message. Prick. I sure hope he figures out how to do this thing eventually. I'll never tell though. I'll never tell. Let me make sure I put his name in the message so he sees this. So I could really get at him. Someone's been reading up on Inuit religion. An old box puzzle. One of the classics. Not a very stable box, but I could make this work. Not from here, but I could, I could make it work. I think I'm just gonna move it near it. Yeah, I can get up on that with the proper, with the proper lever technique. Oh, how do you find all these games? I look them up. I spend a lot of time searching for the games I decide to play. This isn't exactly an obscure game. This game's fairly popular. Ah. Hang on, go back up. I'm gonna try to get this. I'm gonna try to get this at a really weird angle, but I think I can get this. Is that far out as it goes? I feel the jumping from here. Oh, I totally can. I could. I might need to bring it down like one more inch, but I totally could. I, I'm gonna start Paul Boxer. That's what we're supposed to do anyways. I think. There's also like planks around. fucking whispers and everything. We're in. I don't know where we're in, but we're in the something. I can't believe you didn't find a multi-rocket launcher. Can't believe you didn't find the RPG. I want to drop down there. I'm going to drop down here. Oh. According to Red, I just need to find a key as well. It should be somewhere around here. Okay. Under this? Crap. Nope. I guess I have to use this to get back up. Because I don't think I can take that fucking hallway with the scheme how it is. Ah! The little tomato rocket jump across the castle. It's just like, I, I feel like some people do it innocently, you know? Like, they're just like... When's Tomato gonna figure this out? Like, this thing. But it's like, it's always... I've never seen... 
th those people drive me crazier than the people that just tell me how to do something. You know? Because they, those people know, and they're choosing to just, like, give me a fucking super obvious, like, almost snarky hint. That just makes it, just, that's, like, so, just really, like, grating, you know? Because it's always, like, God, this fucking idiot. <laughs> ever gonna fucking figure this one out like that's how it looks i'm not sure people mean for it to look that way but when you're reading it in chat that's how it, that's how it looks for me the reader you know the streamer it's very passive aggressive so don't don't be upset when i respond to that in a very angry way <laughs> All right, so we're looking for a key as well. So I guess we'll break into this great next. What are these gonna have a spider behind dude? That's what, that's what spooks me the most. Okay, this is, this is nothing. I haven't been up to this one. I don't think I can, I don't think I can fit up here. For some reason, it's not letting me get up on this side. I'm gonna try to angle it differently. Please. Okay, yeah, for some reason I can't do this that way. It won't let me squeeze. Uh, can I try it on this one? Nope. I might be able to just reach it anyways. It's definitely a weight of something. I might have to stack some boxes, though. I guess I could do. I guess I could do it like this. Slide it in sideways. This game has some weird physics interactions like that, so this should just let me. I should be able to ah, jank my way right through there. Yeah. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to know? You know. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? I'm still looking for that key. Oh, Jesus. That would have been a pretty sad miss. Why did, oh, it didn't let me pick this up before. Or, or I was just right-clicking instead of left-clicking. Inuit mythology, Christian Foresight, first published 1903. Over the past hundred years, our people has seen something of a religious revelation. The Kal... Kalalit and Inuit in general might be said to have seen the error of our ways and Christianity has become increasingly embraced throughout the Arctic communities. It is the purpose of this paper to explore the true roots of our long-held beliefs and to uncover how they might be justified today in our newfound enlightenment. As such, this essay will be the first I have written in English as opposed to our native Kalalit and Aminit. There is, it is no coincidence that the word I, I'm not going to be pronouncing many of these right. I'm sorry. Aninak bears the resemblance to the word English word for angel. The Aminit are the Inuit equivalent of the soul, an undying entity. Hey, man. Hey, look. This is well, all well and good, but you got to have a key in this book or I'm going to start skipping pages. The concept itself is obviously well grounded in decent Christian belief. However, previous thought has been blasphemous to the extent that souls are attributed to all beings, man or beast. To claim such a thing would be to simply, would be to imply that the killing of a beast for food is the same as the murder of your fellow man, and such a belief simply cannot be held in si held the civilized Inuit. Oh my god. I'm not reading this. <laughs> this one's long and like the wordage of it is very difficult for me to fucking do. Souls. Souls. But lore. I skimmed it. I'm less intrigued by grand lore and I'm more intrigued by the now lore. You guys know that when it comes to games like this. I don't care much about this, like the, you know, a lot of the extra stuff in it most of the time. They said the key would be near here. I don't know if that means literally in here, or what. But now I feel like I have to check. I 
or I have it already. I'm going crazy. I definitely don't have it already. I don't think it's actually in here. No, it's not in here. I love creature lore. Yeah, I'm just not very interested in, like, reading up about, like, cultural shit. In, my, in most games, I usually skip culture lore. I just don't really care about that stuff. Like, hardcore world building. And that's just, like, a me thing. I'm not saying that it's, like, boring or anything. It's just... Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the last one. It's just a me thing. Like, when it when it's, like... Read fucking eight pages of, like... Lore about what this culture was like. I'm just like... Eh. Is this the way I gotta go? Looks like a vertical that looks like a climb we need a climbing pallet for that I'm skeptical we're gonna find one unless we can fit the pallets in here actually yeah we actually can elaborate physics puzzles but either way technically it works and also, there was also one leaning up there the whole time. I just didn't want to move it. I don't know. I guess it does go to nowhere. Ah, ah, ah. E. Does this one just not have? Does this one not actually open? I'm not... Hang on. Let me get up on this. I'm not sure if I was actually crouching or not there. <laughs> this sideways try it again man this game really likes the pallets really want to stay positioned just right okay I don't think I can actually get in this I don't think this one's letting me in the hell's that key there oh no there we go there's nothing god damn it but why put it here then not to give me what I need. No. 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 It cannot say it ain't so, chat. You can lie. You can say that, that was a bug. Oh, game. Dang key box glitched out. You know what? I saw key on the box. I thought. I thought. It's locked. Oh, we gotta like get a key. It's the thing's locked. It, this is a this is a thing that requires a key. So I didn't even fucking think to try it. And now we have a vehicle key. That's the steam. I have no idea where that key's gonna go, but I think we're done here. So let's save and get the fuck out of this place. You see many things with keys on them IRL that require a key. Yeah. Naturally. Like? <laughs> I don't have to explain my fucking my deal to you guys, chat. Come on. Well, you guys never had a. Hang on, I think I'm about to be mauled by a dog. Stop it. Come on. See you later, idiot. Alright, where am I going? This is the original room from last time. Wait a minute. Oh, we're back here again. Key panel, storage, tool shed, exc I think I'm going to excavation. Because we have gas. Oh, we are going to excavation. Alright, we got double back. Because we are going to follow all the left until we reach excavation. Let's swing by. So this shit does legit heal you when you jump zones, I think. Excavation. We got everything we need. Red should be pleased. Hey, Kraken. Ah. Excavation with spider hell, right? Yeah, but I'm not sure where to go. If not, then it's the other side. I'm glad that the dog has become sort of a non-issue for me, and I'm just sort of ignoring him. 
Oh, it was, no, it was storage is how storage we were in as well. It's gotta be something on this side of the map. Auxiliary shaft, key panel, communication, power. Whatever I'm looking for has to be here. I missed something in fucking excavation. I don't remember. But, did I say this is tool shaft? Auxiliary shaft. I think we want to go to auxiliary shaft. I'm gonna lose him. If I lose him, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the old slam the door on him again trick because this dog does not like doors. I should just automatically stop him. Okay. What is this anyway? A cement mixer. There's no reason why it wouldn't still be working. Any reason I'd ever want cement? Either way, we're looking for a vehicle. The dog automatically stops following you if you close the door in this game, so... We can get back to work. I think I need to go through that door. Climb over it or something. Hang on, I might as well just... To-do list. Beyond the fence to the right, there should be a hole. Perhaps an access point to reach further into the mine. Is there two dogs, like, pincering me right now? No, the other one left. The door's barricaded. Whatever blocked it, blocked it from the other side. Just reach your hands into that dude and open that thing. No problem. I don't think I can just get in normally. Dog's oh, coming back. Huh. Yeah, I can just reach my fucking fingers in there, honestly. And I don't think it's gonna let me. He said I need gas, which I have. Oh, wait. Hang on. Isn't the dogs gonna hear this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. Where the hell are we now? Where we've been here before. I swear we've been here before. If you go in a circle. In a map. No, we're we're in the auxiliary section. Okay, yeah, we're here. It all looks very similar. So without a map, it's sort of hard to tell. Dogs around these parts. Well, that's like a fucking insta-lose the dog hill if you jump down that thing. Instantly lose the fucking dog. <laughs> Come on up here, boys! Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, wait, where'd you go? Oh, they're confused. Oh, they don't like this hill. They do not like this climb I'm making them do to get to me. They might just lose me. See you later, boys. It's been a pleasure. I don't know where I am anymore. All right, we're here. <laughs> I made it. And now I'm fully healed again because I went to a new zone. They hate that good trick. From out the door rises something vast, something terrible. It strikes a man, knocking him down, and those standing by him wither into the darkness. Screaming begins. Still father, still father looks on. Is he bringing this? Father, what have you done? When I use these now, I feel as if I'm not the only one. It's getting crowded in here, like I'm just one visitor of many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. Alternate timelines. Every time we die, a timeline ends. We're just another timeline. We're just another branching timeline, chat. Big plug. Go into... Go into... Go into hole. 
big plug. Plug go into hole. Plug. Hole. I think I need to turn it on. Now that's quite a machine. It doesn't come any more industrial size than that. Those teeth in the front look pretty sharp. The whole thing just looks mean. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, this thing could chop up this fucking mountainside like nothing. Give it some gas. The lid on the gas can is rusted shut. I'd better have something that can get it open or I'll be down here for a long time. Fucking pickaxe. Saw it. What made me think they go- Saw the lid off! Okay. No, not quite right. Can't pickaxe it off e either. Hammer. Hammer was the right one. All of these are adjacent solutions. Hammer was the right one though, chat. Alright, that's fine. We got it. As my new friend might say, drink, you thirsty beast. You seek to find the truth behind all this mystery and think it will set you free. But truth is relative, and relatives cannot be trusted to bring good gifts. What you seek lies in the shafts beyond this collapsing of the sky, and if you look closely, so do I. A century of days has passed since I saw this area last. The diseased ones sought to kill poor Red, but I took them on a wild poultry chase. They ended dead. They came from out the big metal door, but after all my years, I knew the caves more. Hide and seek turned to seek and hide, and I buried them here beneath the solid rock and sky. Okay, Red. Red, you gotta stop, just stop talking to me, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so what is this gonna I might as well like save one more time before I do this. I don't know what's up with the red rush. He keeps talking in what is that, haiku? It's got the fuel it needs, but it still won't run. Ah yes. Shall we? I'm glad this took us exactly to where we need to be, chat. Which is good. Let's roll. It seems so strange now to have been guided like a blind man by a faceless stranger whose sanity was clearly waning, disposition unknown. For all I knew, this red didn't even have a disposition to speak of, just a seething mass of conflicting emotions. I knew that my radio-reliant friend must have been cocooned nearby, and perhaps in finding him, I would find myself one step closer to understanding what was going on. In just a couple of hours, I would find what I was looking for, and with it would come answers. I didn't realize at the time, but the answers I found would be for questions I hadn't even asked. Uh-huh. It's like an opening into hell. I've never been this far down before. Yeah, 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 just... Yeah, just slide along. Hello? Man, the... What the fuck is that sound? Ooh! Oh, Jesus! Ah! <laughs> Yo! What the fuck? Big worm! Oh, it's a Greenland bullworm, chat. It's a Greenland bullworm. Worse than an Alaskan one, easily. Those things are extremely large. Greenlandian bullworms, chat. It 
came through here like a steamroller. How many of them could be down here? Just one. They're very territorial. Very territorial. It feels almost like there's warm air coming from down there. Yeah, no, because they dig into the core of the earth. Probably industrial refinement machinery. You hear those uh, weird whispers? Hello? Oh, good. Good. Get the fuck out of here. Go on. Get back to your, go back to your house. I don't know where that spider went. I'm gonna keep going down the hall. Up, 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 all right, what do we got? Hang on, one more for good measure. Ugh, that should hold him. That should keep him out. All right. Where were we? Was that wise to pull that lever? You have to wonder. Well, it's on now. Just activated a small thermonuclear bomb. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, it stopped. Fuck off! <laughs> I think I need this on for wherever I'm going. Let's roll. If I could run, the spiders I don't think can keep up with. Guessing what I had to do, but that was it. With my remaining ear to the ground, I hear your trembling tootsies padding towards their tootsies. final destination. Things come to those that wait, whether they want them or not, and soon I think your wait will be over. The great metal door in reality is calling you, just as the Reaper beckons me forward. I look forward to finally greeting you. I only hope I need not greet the Reaper Man first. All right, man. All right, man. What's the Reaper Man? You talking about death? You talking about something else like a Reaper Man? All right. So here we are at section. We're, we, let's go towards section C. Don't uh, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. You can't. Don't tell me there's gonna be worms in here. I'm thinking we head towards section C. There's a wild dog down that way. You'd be shocked where wild coyotes can get to, chat. When uh, when there's no humanity to like slow them down, you know. They look like cages. These things. Coyotes are fucking wily, you know. They uh they get everywhere. You gotta be able to. They gotta they gotta they gotta have a they gotta have a more dominant species to slow them down, or they just get everywhere. Bad joke. It wasn't a joke until I realized what I did. And I was like, yes. What the fuck is this? Uh. Okay, just a creepy fucking Arnia wardrobe. It's nothing. It's just Narnia. This is the way to section C. Door's not designed to just fall open. We're gonna need a keypad. 
I thought I just got it right. Chat, I thought I guessed it. When, it when it popped up, I was like, there's no fucking way I just guessed it. Can you imagine? Someone's done that on screen before. They perfectly guessed one of those things. Wasn't me. It won't be me. Looks as if it's been used for almost everything, save for what it's meant for. I'm sure I'll find something down here to screw. True, true. Let's grab these, uh, these fucking bolt cutters, too. Empty medical supplies. That sucks. Some bits and pieces not worth digging through the barbed wire for, though. We could presumably use the bolt cutters for barbed wire as well, couldn't we? That's, like, logic. I guess there's nothing in there worth cutting through anyways. Guess, uh, guess none of it's valuable enough. Whatever, that's section C done. Okay. Onwards to the next section. Hopefully we don't run into any dogs, because shaft 12. Yeah, that seems smart. Let's go to shaft 12. I'm trying to bump into any dogs while we're out. We're just gonna keep hugging the right. Fuck. As long as we keep our distance, these things seem to struggle to catch us. But, uh. That sort of means. God, there's a lot of these fucking dogs, huh? Alright, that one sees me. Jesus, he's fast! Thanks for the boost, idiot! Ha! Uh. You can break this down. Oh! I think I can use these as bait. Yeah, that's what those are for. I haven't used these jerkies since I got them. They're bait. I don't think I can eat them. So he must be bait. Guess it's starting to get necessary now. There's an awful lot of fucking dogs in this place. They're fast enough to keep up with me. And sense when I'm looking at them. Okay, the jerky definitely... That definitely did not drop. Chat that... That didn't do jack shit for me. Alright, this is locked. I think I can take like two bites or three bites before I have to heal. Ow. I need to heal right now. Ah. Ah. They're all locked! Be cool. Wait. This guy's an idiot. Wait, no, he's getting smarter. Wait, he's still sorta of dumb. Some jerky? Yeah. Oh, that just called more of them. Oh, they're getting smarter! <laughs> Alright, that's it. We're com we're fucking combating these guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Ah. Yeah, where's your friend? I killed him. I'm gonna kill you next, dog. Ah! Ow. Ah. That one's dead, dead. I think I blew that one. I think that's the one I blew up. Oh! I hit him again. Get another free hit on him. These dogs can be fought. They can be beaten. Also, this is a really good spot to do this, and I don't consider this cheesing. There's way too many of these fucking dogs. Too greedy. I'm getting greedy. I tried to send him to the shadow realm. I, I almost got him too. Come on, come on, boy. Hey! Ha! 
You dead now? Yeah, I don't see you moving. So you must be dead now. Everyone cool? Everyone cool? I'm cool. All right, well, now we know that every single fucking shaft in this place is busted. This is shaft 12. We want to go to the refinery next, because that's the next logical place to go. I think there's still more dogs in these hallways, so we're not really home free. Refinery. These are marked as steam pipes. They seem to... They do quite some damage. Maybe I could use them. Oh. That's sort of fucked up, dude. Are you sure you want to do that to these dogs? Maybe you just want to kill them with pickaxes. Yeah, I guess they want you to thin the herd a little bit on this one regardless. It's just how you choose to thin it. We could steam them. Steam dogs. Whoa, dude! Is it true? Oh my god. We finally get to play Satisfactory on stream. Please. Ah, oh, yes. I regret to inform you when it comes to these kinds of puzzles, I am extremely talented. I'm about to brute force it in the next, like, 30 seconds. Look at this. Observe. Check this out. Bada bing. I didn't eat chat. I just want to remind you, I didn't retain any of what just happened there. I didn't retain any of it. I didn't learn a single thing. I didn't gain anything. I feel nothing. Ah, only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the I didn't learn. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow me to I just look for a moment. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But you can't me. keep getting away I'm with this. I don't think they enter in the back room. I think I know they need. It is some kind of heaven. No. It's just the crushers. One of those huge worms came through here. I'd rather believe it was standard corrosion, but I doubt it. Worm tubes. All right, well, we got some stuff over here to fuck with. We got uh, batteries, airs, more batteries. Thermonuclear bomb. That looks a bit... Rocks. The guy I wants one or the other, so we'll just set both down. Hey man, is this what you wanted? He's gonna love that. It's a gift for me to him. He, uh, he does want that, right? Go in? I can't squeeze that. Afraid I can't squeeze that one. What? Wait a minute, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> ah. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm taking it with me. Get up there. Clearly it can't be that dangerous. Ah, yes. The conveyor belt comes out of this hole.
Barrel would also work. Probably better. This is probably the best option we have to stop that fan. See, these are nice puzzles. Not too crazy. Very, very clear. And I get to get back to the fun horror part of the game. You know? Did I fucking jam it? Chad, that, was that barrel a bad call? I don't think that's ever coming out. I think I jammed the fucking... I think I jammed the barrel. Game's over. I end... I clogged it. Guess I'll just set rocks up. Management's gonna be so peeled. Management's gonna be so fucking mad. I might have to, like, leave the room and re-enter. Yeah, I fucked that thing up. Oh. Okay, it's scripted. Only certain things can go through. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Ah. Get up there. Wait a minute. What am I... Wait. Would I even care about using the whole thing for this if I could just physics hug it? I guess I can't get those ones up. Maybe they didn't want me to fucking physics hug these or something? Maybe they really want me to use the barrel. I think they want me to use the barrel. But the barrel definitely didn't come out when I used it. I think they want me to use the barrel. Hang on. I don't even need it. I can do it like this. Where's that other barrel? Come here. I'm so good. We'll just bring the thermonuclear bomb. We need it. Come on, chat. We are now such good and lasting friends. No, we're not. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could gift me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear in my party without a gift. Okay. Oh, is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young rippling stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in these parts, and man meat is so... just so bland. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent, would you deliver the crunchy feast by way of a final meal? You want me to bring you rodent flesh to eat because you're sick of eating people? All right, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I got you. But first, I got to get down here. Fucking order puzzle. I'm gonna circumvent half of this. You can do it in two. It would be this one I'd go right now. Bottom bang. Ah, oh, I can't get, get away with it, dude. Oh, I was supposed to learn the pattern, bro. Bro. He fucking keeps skipping the game, bro! 
John, you gotta see this streamer. He keeps cheating. He's ruining the game. Man, he was supposed to get stuck there. Come on. But you learned the pattern. True, but I also should have died on that second jump, if I'm being real. You probably should have killed me. I should have been punished. I shouldn't have gone unpunished. But I keep going unpunished, Chet. So, where is this? Oh. I can shaft 12. Never gets his comeuppance. I have chat, like, I do this joke because I have seen people in my chat get fucking angry. Like, angry. When they observe me fucking, like, not struggle on a puzzle they struggled on. They get angry about it. I want to ride on the thing. It's gonna leave. Come on, bro. I'm gonna miss it. Huh. Huh. Am I too heavy? No! No! Better I wasn't on it. Maybe that was that was like a Looney Tunes bit waiting to happen. Stacks of books that are a mixture of industrial reference material and scientific journals. Big worm. Or I guess worm bab. A cohort, a man with no name. It is he who opens his gateway to hell, a grin on his face. He is terrible indeed. He watches the men writhe and turn. Still, father looks on, something vital in his hands. There, it's me. I'm inside that box. And outside it, I don't know. I, I, I can't get things straight in my head. Weird. badly faded, but it looks like a close-up view of some kind of annelid. It's the worms, man. It's the worms. A 60s microscope, functional for research purposes, but we've come a long way since these were common. Old newspaper. Guess we'll be using it for something. Hang on. I just want to make sure it wasn't like a weird projector that you could like display like ooh yeah funny worm it's locked from the other side but I think the key's still in the lock Jesus! There's something stuck in the keyhole. Use the screwdriver. Poking the key out isn't going to achieve anything. I need a way to collect it from under the door once I've pushed it out. I'm so fucking good. I'm so good. I'm coming in. Hello? Hello? Wormy? Wormy? From the debris, I'd say something huge broke into the room not long ago. There's blood and slime everywhere. It's probably nothing, chat. Just a worm. Just a worm. Ooh. Yo! Yo! 
It's an artificial habitat. It looks these things look long dead. I think I know how they felt not being able to get out. All right, for the record, dude. Oh Jesus! So much disease and death down here. I suppose slugs were an inevitability. For the record, we the first chat, the first ladder we found. Um, why uh, for those delicate uh, melt in your mouth mousy morsels? There are places you should not go for for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind. I see, I see. Some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood and to my grace. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is in its finest sauteed with a little engine oil. <laughs> I thought I was- uh, maybe I'll just give him slug. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, it's in my face. Oh, it's in my eyes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, bleh, bleh. That's fine. That's fine. Uh... What I was going to say, Chad, is that my guy definitely could have left when he got that first ladder to leave the um, basement with. Remember that ladder in the basement with the first spiders? Totally could have walked that over to the hatch exit, too. And also gone that way for that. I don't think it wants me going in here. Totally could have left with that. I thought it wanted me going in here. But I guess it would make sense that I don't follow the tunnel that a gigantic, uh, you know, worm went down. That makes sense. Right. There's writing scrawled everywhere. Must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely the product of a deranged mind. But whose? They left the blood lonely. The head is trying. I can't go through here either. Dark. Wait, there's something here now. I swear this wasn't here before. Professor. These are the biomedical journals of Dr. J. Peters, MSc, PhD, completed between the dates of 30th of March, 1969, and 1st of January, 1972, at the Northwestern Research Station within the Northwestern Iron Mine, with the permission of Delta Mining Corp. Replication of selected extracts left at the disposal mine foreman. Disposal of mine foreman. Subject of study, genus Ryacophila. Commonly gray rock worm. Okay, just like worms. Aim to investigate the abnormal presence of the caddis in the Greenland rock. Method collection of samples, if indeed they can be identified correctly, standard series of testing, observation, and dissection. Personal notes upon arrival at the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of fauna that finds a way of life down here. Despite the conditions, in general, one would assume that species whose natural habitat has passed a certain depth would find the intrusion of human activity too great a threat to remain in place. However, most of the Almost the exact opposite seems to be the case in this instance. It is curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and yet other, deeper areas are teeming, and, were the situation permitting, would embrace the opportunity to commit further time... I would, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time to the study of these organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here shall continue to be the genus Rycophil... I don't know why I'm struggling to pronounce that. Me. Ah, finally some writing paper. Look at me. Just using up the pages to scroll down whatever comes into my head. Ha! What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter. It's paper all the same. I can finally record what's happening down here for, I suppose, about a year now. It must be near the end of 2001 by now. Ha. Huh. I wonder when Christmas was. No matter. Too tired to write now. We'll rest a little first. Professor. Oh, some guy just like fucking vandalized the research. Well, we're back to the actual research again. Samples collected. 
The collection process has been far easier than anticipated. The setup of the artificial environment for the rock worm went without a hitch, and the specimens themselves are so abundant as to keep as to make keeping them out far more challenging than containing them. They are all of healthy size, perhaps even beyond recorded size, and I can only assume that is due to some lack of natural predators down here. Specimens are as followed. Three adults in artificial habitat, check. Two are two larval infants dead. Me. I've been down here for two days now. Was meaning to record events every day, but was too busy securing the area. I've used some supplies from the old mining systems to wall myself in here. It seems as safe a place as any, and those things should at least stay put for a little while. To that end, seems I've had a pretty lucky... Seems I've had a pretty lucky stumbling here. All this old research is about something similar to what's been hunting me ever since I escaped the shelter four days ago. Don't get me wrong, after what... After what they did to me back there. Okay, here's the thing. No one writes like that in real life. Uh, when they're recording a journal. This always- this shit takes me out of it, like, immediately. In writing. Uh, no one- you don't stutter in fucking journals. <laughs> After what- dot 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 adding the dot dot dots. After what they did to me back there, I'd rather be facing anything else. And after almost a year of fighting for our lives, we didn't really stand a chance anyways. I don't know how many are left inside, but this is good. These notes might have some way to fight the things, the rock worms that followed me here. I don't know how they knew I was coming or how they managed to follow me in the dark, but maybe I can work that out now. I found some old newspaper clippings. I guess they're referring to this mine. I had no idea it was so old, so big. I can see now why they built that facility here in the first place. A lot of history burned down here. It worries me, though. We'd been resting all our hopes on res of rescue on one of, those, uh, on one of the scientists who escaped right near the start of it all. He got out almost as the chaos began. So we figured he might have made it out and brought help. But maybe me and him are due the same faith. I must record what's going on. Give the word... Give the world the answers it needs so it doesn't fall prey to what's been released down here. But first, I need to worry about myself and find a way out of here and work out how to kill these worm things. Professor, creatures are getting bigger. Me, he's wrong. They have no sense of smell. Okay, so they can't. He, he said something about smelling. Worms appear to have three, t three senses. Taste, smell, and extremely sensitive sense to touch. They don't have any sense of sm smell. Today I attempted to distract them with a concoction I found lying around, but to no avail. However, it does seem that they can detect movement via vibrations, which would explain how they can see in the dark. Damn. There's almost no way to escape them down here. I'm on their territory now. Lifespan is three days and counting. I can still hear them outside the wall. As an extra precaution, I've locked myself in the smaller study area. All right. Oh my god. It's the fifth day today. I, I'm getting... <laughs> it's the fifth day today. I'm getting a little sick of this. And I swear they've begun to surround my location. I can't tell whether or not they have breached the wall I built, but I'm certain they've entered whatever areas surround this room. The future looks increasingly bleak. I intend to record here the events of the past year in the hopes that perhaps what occurred could be contained or driven away. Now I realize I could write all I wanted. No one will ever make it down here to read it. So why write this now? Good question, me. I have no answer, me. All I know is I'd rather take my own life than die at the jaws of those hideous monsters. I've tied a noose. Those monsters may feed on my corpse, but they won't take my life. I see, I see. You want me to go in here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're good now. Alright. So we're just looking for rats, dude. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna hit that save point. There's one nearby and uh, head on out. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for rats. We're shopping right now. We don't really need to care about the worms. Besides, worms are only sensitive to like fucking noise. I can't even smell my dirty stink. All they can detect is movement. As long as I cease movement, it won't matter. But that wasn't very helpful to me. That area. Guess most of the dogs are dead, unless they decided to respawn. Hello? 
worm boy? Wormy? Wormy? Not, uh, not really sure where to go now. Honestly. Still dogs. Well, I was in the refinery. That was the place that got me to where I was, right? Refinery. It's locked. Evidently, this is not the place I was. Did I gain anything from this whole adventure? Not really. I'm not sure if I missed... Did I miss something back there, chat? You can tell me. Lore? It's just lore? Ten pages of lore. I'm like struggling to remember where I've been. And like what I need to do. Because this guy just wants rats. Oh, I need a code to unlock Sector C's door. I remember now what I'm trying to do. I have not gotten that code though. It seems like there's one dog alive in this place still. We can probably take advantage of that and kill him. Oh, this is new. Oh, this is another. It's another steam zone. You think this works like that? You think the dog's dumb enough to do it? He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. That just hurt him a little bit. That did really hurt him all the way. Okay, now he's just mad at me. Come here. Let's tango. Fuck you. Stay dead. Stay down. Sometimes it be like that, motherfucker. Sometimes it be like that. I want, dude. That's the last thing you ever heard was someone jackass like me yell in his ear. Sometimes it be like that. And then his life ended. That's sad. It's fucked. It's pretty fucked up. Alright, well, I think there's a dead end thing at Shaft. We haven't checked out Shaft 13, I think. Technically. I'm not sure. It might be locked. But technically, Shaft 13 is new yeah we haven't been down here I know that for certain but I think it was locked last time oh we can get in okay yeah I know this is worm zone those rocks are loose I might be able to shift them but they're definitely but they're more likely to bury me alive oh fuck you Jesus Christ Think you want me to think you want me to do it to him? But I can uh, we can bolt cut the security. Christ, what am I thinking? I don't know, man. I said you want to jostle these things. Let's jostle. Come on. I didn't realize you were such a pussy is all. Fine, we'll go this way. Whatever. Is this place trying to kill me? I gotta get a grip. Dude, I'm getting real sick of these fucking tunnel things. I'm getting real sick of the spiders, too. We're gonna hug the right till we either see a death worm or a spider or something meaningful. You're dead. Yeah, that's right. Anyone else want to get up? Huh? Cuz, like, hang on, I'm gonna pull out a flare. Cause like, I can take you on all day. 
Huh? Ow! They don't care about flares! Flares don't count! Flares don't count! Stop! They don't hate flares! They don't hate flares! I want to save my battery power. Now they're making me look like an idiot. This is just another dead end hallway. Use pills, I want to save them. Plus I'm thinking, plus if I die, it's gonna set me right back where I was already. So I won't really lose that much. Okay, he, these guys don't even give a fuck about the fucking flashlight anymore. See? So I actually lose much less just dying. Try again. Moving a little bit faster now. I don't want to lose my last thing of pills. Stop making that sound. Fuck off. Don't. Don't. There's no such thing as a fucking egg that goes, Oh, dude, it's time. Guys, food's here. Wake up now. And let's get born. Come on. Hell. I need to block this. You will do. <sighs> yeah, don't you ever forget my name. All right, where were we? This changing room must have been close to the main entrance of the mine. How many people work down here? How many people die? Ah, Jesus! Stop it! Quickly. Nothing, nothing's working. We gotta get out of here. It's all sealed up. Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend indeed is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversational. What the fuck is your problem right now? What are you talking about? Ruptured, decomposing pieces. Shut up! Seal! Hang on. Sealed. Sealed. Healed. Sealed. All right. Oh, put it on, bud. Come on. Ow. Ow. Ow, my eye. Ow. Jerky. For the dogs, for the one dog that's still alive, battery snake, fucking god. Also, I, the way that healing works in this game, I don't ever feel very like compelled to do it unless I need to do it to run away from something I haven't saved in a while. Because you just heal constantly in this game. Like every time, every time you do an objective, you get a heal. What did I do this for? There better be a rat in one of these. Rat. Wait, really? What the fuck is this? Ah, it's just ration. I don't want that. I need rat. Stay, stay out. Don't come in here. Rat, shin, ration. More jerky. Let's read this now. 24th of February, 1971. I wrote, I write this note in the knowledge that. No fucking way can something get in here. I sealed that door. It would have to come in through this way. Notes. 
I write this note in the knowledge that it may well serve as my last will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the main shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days. With no daylight and, de and increasing dehydration, it's impossible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on the way. We were all so positive at the start, but that seems long ago now. Brenton was the first to crack sometime during the first night. We all just lay there, trying to sleep through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was, he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chance of survival gets smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through the rest of us like a cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid for that with his life. When we started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There's only, a, there's only us down here, after all, so why should we need codes to access places we're all allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear to keep them safe. Ah, mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. It doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said. It was a pain in the ass, is what it was. I had to trek all the way to that crazy biologist's office in the mining room this morning just to check the code for Section C. But he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy, weird. Just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them from, getting, from being carted off to the mainland Europe for psychiatric help. It was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago. We were in chemical storage when one of the guys, who had seemed pretty straight, just started shouting. It wasn't a pretty kind of shouting, a normal kind of shouting. I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. We'll just have to stick with not normal. Anyways, he managed to hurt a couple of the guys, damage some of the equipment before we got him under control. Nothing serious. When we released him, he seemed okay, phased, but all right. Didn't really know where he was. Far away look in his eye. That look. Dot, dot, dot. I'll remember it for the rest of my days, even if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated. They just seemed to take up more space than they should be, than should be possible. Black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high-rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended. Saw it in those eyes. Those that could made a run for it, but the guy was already bearing down on the foreman didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out of the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsed on us. And now? It's anyone's guess how many are still trapped down there. The last thing I saw was those eyes. It seemed like they were staring at me. And me alone. Miles Statter. Page four is empty. Wait a minute. I think I might have to go back to that UV light room. Or whatever it was. None of these lockers had any- Oh, there's yours, motherfucker. Blank note. Wrong. Alright, we gotta go back to the scientist's room. Come on, chat. Let's head on back. Every dog should be dead. Every single dog should be dead. So we head on back to the scientist zone. Wherever the fuck that is. I honestly don't even fucking remember. Oh, that is not... I'm not jazzed about the worm thing happening lately, chat. Really not jazzed about the worm. Not very cool how that keeps happening. Section C is the code zone. We want to be going up this way. To, uh, shaft 12. Yeah. So far, though, very good game. Really enjoying it. I try to beat it. Okay, this has been, this has been forged shut. All right. Worms from Spongebob? Sorta. Alright, so what I'm thinking is that that note we have 
the last page is going to display a code when we, uh, that or the note that we picked up at our inventory. One of these two is going to show when we light up this thing. Now. Obviously. Okay. So. Ah, the UV light. There's some text showing up on the blank piece of paper. Password is 1371. So now I just want to see if this also has something at the end. No. Okay, so it's just 1371. That that goes to the tool zone. 1371 for storage. Let's go. 1371. I like that the puzzles in this are a lot more logical. Amnesia lost me around the time that the puzzles got, like, stupid. I, I don't know how to describe it, but there's a part in Amnesia where you had to do, like... I think it was, like, alchemical stuff and, like, mixed liquids and shit and just started to get really dumb i stopped having fun around them i never really looked back that was easy it wasn't that it wasn't easy it was just that like i could tell the puzzles were getting finickier and finickier and then i was like i'm done it really stopped grabbing me once they made me like stop for really long time so like do shit like that and like the whole time you're being punished by sanity meter so, it was 1371. Min. That was like the first puzzle. I don't care which puzzle it was. It was enough to immediately make me be like, I don't fucking care. I, I think I may have gotten past it and then something, I got like another puzzle. I was like, this is going to be the game, huh? And I stopped playing it. But I don't know, I was younger back then, so maybe I also just didn't give much of a chance because of that. Lake Utuk. Oh, that's the sound of a dog. Let's go. Let's hang out in lake. Really? In the lake. The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in pots of destruction. On your travels with the tools with which you will fashion my rescue. You may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two foolsy men who plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the men became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. I see, I see. Dog might smell this. Come down here. I'm not sure what his range is. I'm testing now because I have so many surplus jerkies. It doesn't really matter. This is like, there's doors right next to him as well. Can I like pick it up though? If I'm not using it. I think I could, like, drag it behind me. Bait him like that. It'll still be here when I come back. I can try later. So this is Lake Utukok. Oh, this is when this game gets really the thing-like, huh? Is it about to get thing-like? This feels like a little bit like the thing, chat. What's happening right now? Oh, no. No. Ah, oh, fucking Jesus. There's, it's like there's a co carbon copy of me inside the artifact, except that there's more than one, and they're not very good copies. I'm gonna try to follow spots where there's already, you know. Oh, I must. No, nope, I'm fine. I assumed that if there was. Oh, I guess I can investigate like that. Okay, so I don't want to go anywhere where there's an eye icon, I guess. But it looks like I got past it last time, no problem.
Okay, yeah. Ah. Wow, I'm actually just I'm just fucking good. <laughs> no, it's not really that dangerous, Gordon. Good to see you. I don't have the strength to pull the crowbar out of his frozen hand. My friend, I thought you'd never ask. New tool, new tool. Let me walk across. Let me walk across. For real this time, I'm dead. God damn it. Hang on, chat. I need to go get a Tums. I got heartburn. I'll be right back. One sec. old man heart I'm having a heart attack oh nice thank you I'll just jump at them dude this doesn't uh this doesn't seem very jumpable honestly Want me to just follow the side? Is that what you want? Like this? You just like start the whole thing? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Hopefully he's got the awesome chewy kind. Dude, of course I fucking do. Usually, I, I mean, I'm used enough to the heartburn by now. It's like two when I'm good forever. For the rest of the day. I can't clear this, dude. There's no fucking way. Unless I'm just supposed to walk respectfully. Nope. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. I'm gonna fall this side. Fuck you. It ain't gonna be that easy to kill me. Now it's build time. Yeah, fuck you. That's right. Sha. Uh. I'm not actually sure about this one. I might be able to go over this side. Nope. Ah! 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 I was on the right path. It was the answer. I just have to be better. I have to become the master gamer. I can do this. I can definitely mash spacebar to jump over this rock. Hang on. Chat. It's as simple as this. Oh! I had to I had the bunny hop strafe, dude. Simple as that. There's no way this was the intended approach. This streamer keeps getting away with this bullshit. The game wanted you to use the boards to distribute your weight over a broader area, but bum rushing works too, lol. This fucking asshole streamer keeps fucking skipping it. All these cool puzzle sequences ruined by this prick. Last will and testaments of Joe Freeman. I, is this actually like what they were going for? Chat, is this like a reference? Is naming him Freeman a reference to fucking Half Life? Considering he had a crowbar? <laughs> I think they're doing a re I think they're doing a reference here. 
I, Joe Freeman, would like to leave all my personal belongings to my sister May in the knowledge that she will distribute them wisely. We always used to say better to die young than to never live at all. I guess we're going to get our wish. I know enough about survival to realize I won't be surviving much longer. John O, my buddy. I just don't know. My left leg is broken in three places, and I suspect I may also have shattered my pelvic bone. Three hours ago, after we set up camp, John O set off to find some usable timber for the fire. When he got back, he was very excited. I couldn't work out what it was that he had got himself so... so what, it, what it had that had got him so agitated, but I went along with it all the same. I should have recognized the signs sooner. Soon after, he got worse. He jumped me when I turned away, burying my face in the snow, trying to suffocate me. I still don't know what he found in the ice to enrage him so lucky for me. The ground gave way and we both fell in. I landed hard on ice and desperately clawed my way onto more solid ground. I was running on adrenaline. I didn't notice the pain. I just knew that I was going to die. That if I was going to die, I didn't want to be in the frozen water beneath me. When you fall into a frozen lake, you don't just drown or freeze to death. Your whole body seizes up from the cold. Every instinct tells you to swim for the side, but your body won't let you. You gradually dip under the surface, your last breath expelled when you fell. But you don't drown there, and then. Your body shuts everything down, surviving on what strength you have left. You can last for an hour, just floating there, slowly, slowly dying. So now I'm lying here, my soaked Gore-Tex slowly freezing me in place. Me on one side of the lake, John O trapped on the other. I'm worried about him. From what I can see from this side, his arm is dislocated, his shoulder blade fractured, and his wrist broken. I can't hear anything he yells, but he looks to be constantly muttering to himself, testing the ice with a crowbar from his pack. I don't know how he can stand the pain, or where his strength is coming from, but at any rate, something strange happened to him. Fortunately for me, he can't cross the ice. It'll give way under his weight. The only way I'm going, the only way to cross would be to carefully spread your weight evenly across the surface. He looks in too much pain for a rush for that. He looks in too much of a rush for that. There's a lot of drugs in my system right now. I have another bottle of painkillers. There's enough to finish the job. I always said I'd rather die pushing the boundaries than drift away in my sleep. I guess I didn't mean that after all. I'd rather gently slip away than die cold or bleeding. Game calls him out chat. It's not a call out. It was trying to give me a hint on how to do a fucking puzzle, but alas, dude, I'm the master gamer, and uh, I bunny hop to win. I learned how to do bunny hopping about ten minutes ago, before I did this uh, sequence. Now we have a crowbar. <laughs> Probably handy if you're trekking through the tundra. There's a name scratched into the middle. Freeman. Good shit. Good shit. You think, he, you think he'll still buy this? Man, what do I fucking care? Screw this dog. What around him? Some kind of reservoir. There's no purpose to it. Where even are we? We're fine as long as I don't look at him. I need to check like the map. Okay, we are down here. Okay, there's nothing. It's a dead end. See you later, dog. Alright, he's gone forever. Next step on our list is, uh, I guess to head to chemical storage, incinerator, or section F. I'm surprised I got away with that. This seems like a solid opportunity this time around to get rid of one of these. If it'll let me get away with it. Here he comes. Here he comes, Jet. Yeah, 
doesn't see it. All he wants is that good jerky. That's a good boy. Okay, he's done with it. Well, he finished that really quick, that jerky. No, I almost feel like I have a better chance just running up to him, fucking beating his, like, his whole deal in with my pickaxe. Okay, it didn't work. It's actually incredibly finicky, the melee in this game. I win. He's dead. There's no fucking chance. You don't stand a- you literally don't stand a chance. Alright, it's easy just to do that, dude. Alright, let's go. It's just hard to like- Once you start the movement, you can't move your mouse anymore. Unless you hold right click. And it's a little bit finicky. We should heal when we go to the next zone. We gotta get in there. I don't wanna use the potion. I mean, my, my meds. I'd rather limp. Chemical storage. It's locked from the other side. Good, good. Where's the dog going? Looks like it. they they sense me the same way amnesia monsters do, but it's not as like. I guess it's not. It's harder to believe in this game. I guess for that, you know. It's a little bit harder to believe. The dogs just have like spook sense. I don't want to heal yet. I don't heal until I'm sure I need it, because then the game does sequences that heal me, etc., etc. Worm? <gasps> okay, all right. You know, I thought that you couldn't hear people if they didn't move. I thought that was like your whole thing. He just, he just walked right up to me, dude. Bye. <laughs> That's right, the power of human engineering has fooled you. I just, I, that's like a sequence break right there. You see me jump through that to like get some extra time. Yeah, good luck getting me this time, dick. Yeah, this time what chance do you fucking have? He hasn't even started banging yet. Okay, there he goes. We need all three. He's in. Is the devil having a good laugh right now about this? Is this funny to him? Oh my god. All right. You better be having a good laugh about all this. I gotta heal to go like fast enough to do this properly. We only technically need two boxes, we need these two. Honestly, we don't even need these two at all. Yeah, I don't even need them. What am I doing? I could also have sealed this. Pickaxe out! Go! We're in trouble. It might be over. I don't think we're getting out of this. Oh, Jesus. You know, I was really hoping this... Okay, I did it. I'm fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Any second now. All right. 
Okay. Oh, my brain can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroic she must be performing to save old Red. I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison. Action man. Me from this mortal coil. Action man feats, dude. That's me. Action man. I am the tough guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're making me do a wheel puzzle, chat. This is not comfortable in video games like this. It's padding. This game's doing padding now, chat. This is adding like 30 fucking minutes to the game time. You had your action sequence, now fucking spin some wheels, pig! Says the devs. If I never see another one of these things, I don't know. I don't like them, but at the same time, I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? Horcruxes. It's a Horcrux box. They started selling these things mass produced. Everyone's got them now. Everyone has them. Everyone. We're immortal. Just got a uh, chemical. Just got another chemical. B. A. What other, uh, what other chemical? Bade. Uh huh. What else we got here? Bade. 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 Well, I have an idea. Chat. We're gonna combine. B with C. Maybe I can manufacture a way out of here or not. Let's ask the notes. Magnesium, calcium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, sodium. Do not forget badly administered dopamine clouds frequently everything. B A D C F E. B A D C F E. We're missing a we're missing a chemical. It's gotta be in here. What's that? Fucking seal. Can't fool me. Yeah, we're missing one. There it is. Alright. So let us ask the journal one more time. Do I even need to do it here though? It looks like I can just leave. I should go back and save. I picked up I picked up another thing after I touched it. This one, so. Okay. I'm not sure why I'm gonna need that, but I get the weird feeling I need it. B A D C F E. B A I wish I could like rotate these around. Oh here we go. B A C Oh, I'll just put them on at the bottom. B A C D F E. Now I've got it all in the right order. Already. Save one more time. Bad. Bad. Back. 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 I got it right, right? B A D C F. Bad. I fucked it up. It's bad. Okay. Now what? Alright, I'm here. I've been to chemical storage. Let's go to the incinerator in section F next. Next on my wacky adventure. Another melter down here. So we'll open this up. 
See if any dogs take the bait. They never do, but maybe. See, the problem is that these fucking things, there's no time to close the door once they're in there. So, like, you can try to bait them all you like. They're probably never going to buy it. Never going to fall for the trick. Section B. All right, that door's never opening. To the incinerator, then. At least we've narrowed down our options. Ah. I'm not strong enough to use my hands. I need a tool to force it open. That isn't how wheel doors work! Whatever. You don't just force it open! Have you really made it's it a start? wheel! I wait, you have to turn it! It has failed. to be turned! I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. But I've sentenced me to yet more years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung Death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more. Like all the others. This must be the cave in that Red's trapped behind. I need to find some way to demolish it quickly. Perhaps I can get some tips from my explosives book. Or perhaps we go down this increasingly dangerous pit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ah! Ooh, ew. Pretty good stuff, chat. I'm like a real adventurer. I did it. All right, let's get cooking. We gotta get Red out of there so we can try to eat us or something, because we definitely never got him those rats. This room should serve me well as a potion mixer, with the explosives book being my guide. Another fuse. If I never see another one of these things, I don't know. Well, we've already covered this part. Empty shelves. Medical equipment. The usuals. Perhaps I could use this burner to manufacture. Alright. Chat. Let's get cooking. Potion cellar. Red will but must be able to handle our strongest potion, chat. Where is my fucking potion book? Notes. Page one, explosives. String, that's not happening. One, nope, dynamite, not happening. We already have dynamite. That didn't happen. Uh, there's no instructions on that one. Red phosphorus and barium. One part's nitroglycerin. Yes, yes, yes. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just combine these ones. Right. I'll need to. I'll need a gas supply before I can light the burner and be. Oh yeah. True. True. <laughs> ah! Ah! It fills the whole room. We die. All right. We're fine. I'm just gonna mix what it said. We have infinites. Ah. Yes. Hmm. B, C, B, A, B, D, B. This is how you die. F, E, e C. Brute force. Brute. <laughs> no, 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 let's let's consult the books. Let's go. We don't need all these, anyways. Hang on, did it explain? Hang on. B, A, D, C, F, E. So barium is B. Wait a minute. Is that the order? So badly, B should be magnesium? First one should be magnesium then, if we're going in the order that this guy fucking put it in for some reason? Or is it, or is it, surely, 
it's not going by obviously or is it no that, that's got to be it because it's not going by actual elemental table so i think it's i think that's the order which would mean yeah magnesium is b i'm just gonna like write this down is it going by elements it's definitely not going by elements uh magnesium b a calcium is i guess a I hope this is it. Barium, dopamine. I can't imagine it being too elaborate, so I think this is it. Chloride, C. C, uh, phosphorus, F. And that would make sodium E. Okay. So now we need to cross check with the explosives book what we can make. Three parts nitroglycerin, sodium carbonate. Well, we have sodium. Nitroglycerin, dynamite, com. We already have dynamite. TNT. Took some years of our yield. It's true potential. Armstrong's mixture red phosphorus and barium. Formula exists somewhat legend uh, death mix. It's extremely vol volatis volatility makes it unsuitable for almost all potential applications. Materials required red phosphorus. This mixture can be carefully and slowly poured to make. I think this is the one we want to make. Sulfur can substitute for some or all of the barium. I have to make red phosphorus to do it. in here before I... I don't know how the fuck I make that. Red phosphorus? I mean, I know that F... I guess if I already have phosphorus, I guess that... Well, that... Wasn't... Hang on, what if I just add sodium now? Which would be E. No, that just blows it up too. The F... The F, the, the F is red. Chemistry. Chemistry, dude. Maybe I just blow it up with dynamite. We're already good. We already got what we need, dude. Notes. Explosives book. I think it's the one. We, I, I don't see. I don't think it's gonna be nitroglycerin. It's just more dynamite again. Surely it's Armstrong's mixture. Red phosphorus and barium. Sulfur. We don't have sulfur, but we do have barium. So I guess we do F and D. There we go. That's it. So long as I'm careful when I remove it, it should stay stable. Good. I just gotta save my game. <laughs> fresh air, fresh air. I may never get used to that. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> it like jolted down and scared me. All right. <laughs> okay, this is a lot more sensitive than I was prepared for. Dude, I got shaky hands, chat. This is fucked. Kidding me? Just don't wiggle the camera too much. But we have to do these jumps, dude. Ah. Ah. The Red better be fucking pleased about this, dude. I've made. I've crafted death mixture, man. Ah. Hey, man, got your dynamite right here. That kill me? 
Oh, that killed me. I thought I had to throw it at it. I guess I place it down carefully and then use my gun, my my packaged gun to do it. Ah, uh, yes. How could I have been so foolish that we wouldn't use the physics for this this one fucking time? Whatever. This actually isn't that hard. As long as you don't move your camera too quickly, you can just dash it. Should have used my gun move to shoot it. That's too foolish of me. I feel like a lot of people did what I did there to try to do this. Because <laughs> it, made, it made sense to do it like that. Okay, we want to gently place it down. I guess run. And I guess we'll use this fuse I have. I was going to just huck a dynamite at it, dude. Yo, Red! You in there, boy? Red! I'll get you out of there. Don't eat me. I know you eat people now, but come on. I didn't bring rats. Didn't bring any. I brought jerky, though. Want some? Brought you some jerky. Red? 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 This door, it's different. Newer than all the others. Must be where Red's been leading me all this time. I can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. You mean like a crowbar? I don't feel compelled to go in there yet. I feel like I need to look around. Locked. Anything down here? Probably another locked door. Red? Good evening. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my thought box now, but words elude me. You came, you are so pretty, but I am bad. The underworld already beckoned me, so I suppose one further in this community will change it. Don't eat me, man. Come on. I'm not dying like with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought to the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here. So the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors, as the Christmas go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you and appoints you you only as red. It is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head. Are you down I'm there? My own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chat and lunch for by the fire has ended. And oh. I hope this soon shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. Oh, you want me to... You want me to... You want me to... You know, take you out. You know, like... Torch you alive with, uh... With the incinerator. The ignition switch. Alright. He's happy. He's happy. He was happy, chat. You all saw it. He was happy, right? He was going yay. Red, I I'm so sorry. Whatever happened to you down there, it's over now. So where's like the box that pops out my key? <laughs> Chink! Just flops out. Very good. There's r ashes, all that remains of my only friend down here. So long, Red. Friend.
I wouldn't call him a friend. I thought he was gonna eat me, dude. I was pretty convinced he was gonna eat my flesh. So can I bust you open with a crowbar? It's hydraulically sealed. It won't just pry open. Maybe if I could cut the power. Well, guess we're going this way then. This game has such good fucking atmosphere, dude. Holy shit, I'm so into this one. I can see Red now, sitting here, guiding me. I probably wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for him. Why do you have to leave me down here alone? You could have said no, I'm not gonna do it. My dearest friend, how are you? I'm as well as can be expected. I have some sad news, though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse, and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look for me here, but if they do, and they find me, I'll be in so much trouble. I don't think I... I don't think I'll have to worry about that, because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been working in the mine for about three weeks now, and I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's pretty tough work, and so far you're the only person that's really been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kind of creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. So if you think about it, I was really quite lucky that I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff. As it is, I have Shakespeare, Bront, Nietzsche. Perfect bedtime reading, although I suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. I always used to ask my mom how long people survive without food and things. I've read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes, and some people last in the desert for weeks, but she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go cave crazy first. You mean madness? You mean you're talking about the madness? Neither sounds too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I'd want to go crazy. <laughs> I'd want to go crazy. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood, proper mine worker, December 1970. Age 14. This guy's been down here for fucking 30 years. Red's been down here for 30 fucking years, chat. He was 34 when he died. Jesus. Leaving out how Red managed to catch and kill this thing is quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. It smells like a sewer. How did Red sleep on this? Maybe he just didn't sleep. He had a save box! The chains on his arms are visible now. Not they're out of choice. Father looks on aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. What the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. If I never see... Okay, we've already seen that. Reams of books. Where did Red scavenge all these from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collected works of Shakespeare and Kant's ethics. If this was how he spent his time, no wonder he spoke so strangely. He must have led a lifetime of misunderstanding. Here's how he made it, chat. Wow, you just some fucking, you really messed these things up, Red. And that's his poop hole. Jesus! And the stench, I think this may have been his toilet. I, ugh. Oh, oh, geez. How many hours did he spend with his neck in this noose just trying to end it all? No wonder he was getting hungry. What a final meal, rationed slugs. Still, knowing Red, perhaps he enjoyed them. We 
to cut the power to get inside. It's an electrical panel. Funny place to have one. Guess I'll screwdriver this off. Even though those are clearly bolts. Electrics may be running out to the door. I feel like there's no safe way to disable this thing. I, I, I hang on, I'm, I'm gonna hit the, hit the save station again before I start plugging electrical thing, like metal into the electrical thing. All right. Now, if I had to guess, I would say crobe. I would say saw blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, just shove the- cut it in half with a fucking metal saw! Yes! Let us begin our journey into the depths of the pit. I still need to lever it open with the probe. Alright, I'm in. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me instead. I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they'd answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain I had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would have... I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward, to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's faith, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had, been, I had seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay behind, beyond the threshold. I know now I was right. This looks really good. Dang. All right. The fuck is that? What is that? Is that like guy? Little zombie? Little zombie standing there, one hand? One hand guy? I missed a note? Where? I was so distracted by the visuals. Ah, uh, there we go. Welcome to the shelter, established 1973. Elevated cast 4, chief staff 6, lower cast 39, temporary 8, total population 57. Key members, chief overseer Wilbur Frisk, AD to present. Okay, it's like a fucking bunker for, like, aliens. Please have your identity documents ready. Make sure you have your ID ready when you come on in. Hang on, just in case. Before I go over to that alien thing. Uh, I don't want any trouble now. Flashlight won't work no more. But if there's someone. <laughs> With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more. And so began my next chapter. To be continued. There are three, there's two other games in this series chat. It pretty much continues like a, they, they put out the next one pretty quickly after this from what I gathered. Please tell me you're gonna play number two. I might dude, that was awesome. I don't have it installed. I wouldn't be able to do it tonight, but I might. The third one is shit. Hey, you know what I don't need you telling me? Let me figure it out for myself instead of trying to deflate my enjoyment of it because you didn't like it. Because opinions are a thing. But you adding me and telling me? Is it the best way to get your opinion across? For the record. That was awesome. It, I think it. I think it took exactly as long as I wanted it to take. If it went for much longer, I thought it would have lost a little bit of the atmosphere it was going for. But like, that was great. 
Genuinely, I thought that was awesome. Usually my main opinion with horror games is that they take too long. Like, they're just, they go forever. They overstay their welcome, and then it feels like it's dragging. Like, five hours for a horror game, four hours, is, like, ideal for me. Honestly. I love that. So what, we ran that for like fucking, yeah, we ran that for about five hours. We'll wrap up here for this one. We will do the other ones. I'm not sure we'll do it right away. It might be like, you know, a week or so from now, but I reckon we'll do the next Penumbra game. But I don't have it installed yet because I honestly was expecting this to run like another hour. It's fine that it's wrapping up now. I'm streaming tomorrow anyways. But uh, I, wasn't, I was expecting to have like one more hour of it so I wouldn't need to install the next one yet. Sevtech time? No, end of stream time, dude. We're gonna wrap up. I'll be back tomorrow at uh, 3 to 4 p.m. EST. You guys know how it is? That was great. I love that. We'll, we'll do the other two. How long are the other ones? I know there's at least one more. Can someone tell me how long they are? Like, could I finish both of the next ones in one stream? I, ideally, I'd like to jam them. Same length. We're all the same length. Okay. I can do that. About the same. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I keep saying it because, like, I don't know, dude. I've been burned on a lot of horror games, and I walk away from them feeling sort of unfulfilled. But I actually really liked that. I thought, like, ever, it was it was less horror than it was, like, just really good atmosphere storytelling. I don't know. That got me really into it. It wasn't, it wasn't so much like, look at these spooky things happening everywhere. It was more like, look at all this f mystery we've made. Like, it was good. That was a really good atmospheric horror game. We probably won't, if we do stream the next parts, which I probably will, probably won't be doing it tomorrow, so don't plan on that. We'd probably do it, like, next week. All right. Tomorrow, I reckon, is going to be Scrap Mechanic? Because they just put out their survival mode yesterday. Or uh, something else that I have yet to talk about. But, yeah, I, I love horror games that don't stick around for too long. I would say Dead Space 1 stuck around for too long. Some people might know what I... Dead Space 2 didn't, because it felt like there was enough there to, like, really grab me. There's a lot of good variety there. But, uh... Fucking... Dead Space 1... I never... I felt like halfway through it, I was done. And it just kept going. It is time to resume my duties. These carvings seem to show a rather crude map of the kingdom. Hang on, I wanted to check this map, but I zoomed back in when I came back today. We want, I want to see where I could go next, but then the map zoomed in. Fuck. Well, good news is we got a lot of time to let it zoom back in. Well, out. So we got a decent amount of notifications. There are more puzzle games, but the Room series is really good. Quick, great atmosphere. Oh yeah, sh shoot it to me. I'm fine with, like, there's, Puzzle games I'm fine with. Logic kinds, all right? I just don't like slide thing into thing. Do sliding puzzles for 30 minutes. Fucking connect dots in like an adventure game and hope that this thing interacts with this thing. Like I need it to be logical enough that I don't get stuck on it for 30 minutes because I missed like a tiny fucking detail that I would have needed to like just interact with literally everything to enjoy, you know? Not big into that kind of puzzle game. Like, my favorite kinds of puzzle games are, like, anti-chamber. Like, you are... It is logic more than it is, like, fucking brute forcing it. Like, most of the puzzles can be beaten extremely quickly if you just, you know, fiddle with it. Yeah, God, dude. Whenever I think about Dead Space, I will stream Dead Space 1 on stream one of these days. I think you can beat Dead Space 1 in like eight hours. I think you can beat it in one. I honestly feel like Dead Space would be better as a five hour game, but you can beat it, I think, in like eight. 
I don't remember it taking me that long. Dead Space 2, you definitely cannot beat an 8. That's like a 14 or 15 hour game. But that game was also... That game, Dead Space 2 is like one of my favorite games. For the record, Dead Space 2 is like one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, for people that aren't aware. Uh, I am a big fan of Dead Space 1 and 2 specifically. They're like my favorite horror series ever. I didn't beat Dead Space 3. I don't think I ever beat it. I didn't hate it though, but I never beat it. I, didn't, I, I just didn't get as into it. I honestly sort of regretted playing it, but I didn't hate it. It was just like, didn't I didn't leave it with the same appreciation. What the fuck is that over there? See that? That over there. I'm starting to understand these carvings. What I'm looking for is an exit up here, chat. There's gotta be something I missed up in the fucking tunnels. And if we find it, then we can like sort of because that's the that's the spider stairwell. That's the spot where the spot we, where we climb up through the spider thing. You know, that's the spider stairwell. I think there's two of them. So it's like when we go up that way, follow it, continue. Wait, no, that's the spider stairwell. We want to go up that way, and then. I finally understood the carvings. It seems like there is a long and dark way to the top. I know, that's what I'm thinking. So I have this one marked that can auto walk to that. I don't know why I missed this section last time. Cause I was definitely there. Just whiffed it. We're gonna let it keep going. When did you get a map? We always had it. It was just, we never stood long enough to let it zoom out. Man. Soda Lil, thank you for gifting us up. Potus Brodus, thanks for the three months. Something clever joke, smile. Happy to support you, Tamto. Thanks, man. Pat54, 17 months prime. Thank you. Wood377, 15 months. Bendover8484, thanks for the $2. Hey, Tomato. I heard you've been feeling better. That's good to hear. Glad your Lyme disease is curing itself. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm feeling better, but I have a... Uh... I have weeks that are really shitty, and then I have weeks that are really good. And so far, this week has been really good. So, I'll take whatever wins I can get. Either way, it's not much longer until I get my ultrasound. It's on the 19th, and then after that, uh, I will be able to figure out what the next step is from there. Uh, my doctor is on fucking leave. <laughs> so I have to call my fucking office and get a new one, though. So that's something I gotta do tomorrow, I think. Damn, what happened? Oh, they're on maternity leave. So I'm, be I'm being handed off to another doctor to handle their appointments. But that adds that whole extra confusion of like, hey, this doctor explained to me what the next steps were, but did they record it so that you know that? Because I'm going to be really fucking annoyed after this ultrasound if this doctor's like, okay, let's start from scratch. <laughs> So I need to like call them and be like, yo, let's set, let me set the ground rules, like what our plan was originally. All right, we want to go up there. See where that is. Way, way up. Tomato is getting an ultrasound, so he's pregnant. No, I'm getting an ultrasound because I need to check my lymph nodes. I, uh, yeah, that's, that's the way up there. I think I'm ready to go. I just heard something drop from the ceiling. Dude, we're still out here. Oh, there we go. All right, take me all the way up to the mushroom zone. Ultrasound on lymph nodes? Yeah. That you do, ultrasounds are used to check uh, lymph node uh, swelling, believe it or not. So, yeah, they're giving me that for, like, the ones underneath my neck and shit. See what's going on with them. Because that depends on that. What's going on with them decides on where I'm going next for doctors. Apparently. So. Uh, Queen Deity, thanks for the 17 months. Another month added to the pile. Kisses for everyone. Thank you. Ultrasounds are used for a lot of stuff. It's actually pretty interesting. Ultrasounds are used for, like, a ton of shit. Uh... They're easy. It's just sort of goopy. They use like a gel all over you. You know. Nemic Plague, thanks for the 11 months. Water, please, so hot. 
spare just a drop. Uh, no, 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 no. That won't be necessary. Fuggle Mug, thank you for the prime. Freeper FTW, thanks for the six months. Thanks for the streams. You're my fruity shelter during the quarantine. Thanks, man. Glad I could help. Time to get sweaty. Four months. Harris GTV, thanks for the prime. Connect O Dots, thanks for the 16 months. Rusty Quarters, thanks for the 13 months. 13 months of service to our lord, the Tomato Gaming. Can we get some tomato coats in the chat? That's not for me to ask, but for them to decide. Why are we still here? Thank you for the five months prime. Dodger Dude, thanks for the three months prime. Hey, Tomato. I've been doing what you said, and I've been trying to dig out of the pit, but I don't seem to be getting any closer to freedom. Just keep digging. Eventually you'll get there, probably. Or not. Wibbit, thank you for the six months prime. Pinkus Narwhalis, thank you for the 11 months. How dare you hang out with your pals during these trying times? In all seriousness, do what you like. We watch your streams for you. Thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, it's just like people coming in and being like, Where's my summer card? You said it. I know if I say something, it must be completely guaranteed. So, it'll be sometimes. Just... I'm not very inclined to play a game in the next couple of days that requires me to, like, spend a day learning it or a night learning it because that means that's less time I can spend playing with my friends while they're still on the server. Trying time. Uh, it's me, Michelle. Thank you for the nine months, Prime. It's been a whole month since I was cast into the pit for an inappropriate tomato squeeze, and it's great down here. Gotta head off to the weekly pit luau, and then studying for the next, for, for studying the holy tamto texts. All hail the mighty tomato. Thanks. But there is no luau. We officially canceled it once I found out they existed. So, uh, you really... I think everyone in the pits can be very mad at you now for just outing the whole luau thing. Because now we gotta cancel it. Now I'm canceling it. It's over. Now that I know what's happening, party's over. We're gonna have to take away your electricity down there. Apparently you can't handle that. Apparently you guys, with lights, you start reading. You're gonna have to take it all away. Sorry. Sorry, you'll have to blame Michelle. Dark Desks, thanks for the 10 months. Insulath. Thank you for the 12 months prime. Uh, Legend of Link. Thank you for the 11 months prime. Man, you really shouldn't leave tomatoes out this long in the sun. Kind of stinky. Dorf McGorf. Thanks for the sub. Space Fish 50, 501st. Thanks for the thir three months prime. Sona Lil. Thanks for the gifted sub. The Jackster 190. Three months prime. Uncatchable 7. Two months prime. Thank you. Just wanted to say thanks for the laughs and being a sensible kind of guy. Thanks, man. Deep Fried Gundam, resubscribe in 15 months. Thank you. Quack279, 11 months. Very kind of you. Uh, Dugong Guy, 5 months prime. Ace Dragoon, 15 months. Half Turk, 5 months prime. Viking Science, 27, 17 months. Bias Hyperion, 3 months prime. Cuckoo Cthulhu, 10 months. Sausage in You, 2 months prime. Jupiter, 4 months prime. Thank you. Sleagal, 15 months. LG Blizzard, 14 months. I need more games to play. Can you recommend three underrated games? Three underrated games. Uh, underrated. So like games that are that some people may consider sort of dumpy, but I consider really good. Fuck, dude. What have I been playing recently? I've been playing Underrail a lot more again. I've been getting back into that. That's pretty. I would say that's somewhat underrated. Uh, that's definitely been a good time for me. That's like very half, it's like very Fallout 2-esque. Underrail's pretty good. I've been enjoying that one. When, uh, whenever I can, whenever I can get a little bit of time. Kenshi. Kenshi's not underrated. <laughs> I'm thinking games that don't have overwhelmingly positive on Steam and shit like that. Like games that are like hovering a little bit lower, lower on the deal, you know? Let me open up my Steam library for a second, if it'll even appear. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, it's not a lot that I have been that I've been playing lately, honestly. It really fits that bill. Truth be told, I quite a, a Graveyard Keeper. I would say is underrated, and I enjoyed that for a pretty long time while I was playing it. I got my money's worth and then some out of Graveyard Keeper. That's like a Stardew Valley esque uh, farming game, but for uh, corpses instead. It was a pretty good time. 
People give it a bad rap, but I thought it was a good, relaxing game. That was good. Uh, Nano XV, thanks for the four months. Uh, Mung Dali, thank you for the sub. Order of Dagon, seven months prime. Bloodshot, 46, three months prime. Zevil, 23 prime. Rancor Snap, $20. I've been enjoying the Sevtech streams from you and the boys so much, I just need to donate as a thank you for showing it to me. And giving us so much amazing content to watch. Hey, no problem, man. I'm glad you guys... Uh, I'm glad everyone's been enjoying it. It's been fun for me, too. Uh, Mung Dolly, thanks for the thousand bits. Tamto, I've been watching on and off for a year or so. Finally decided to subscribe and give some bits. I do want to ask if this game has water. And if so, can chat have some? Never. No, they can't have any. It has it. It had it. But they can't have it. Timay LMAO, thank you for the four months. Prime. Clear Puddle, 15 months. Unvanilator gifting us up. Thank you. Herpa Derps, 117. Thanks for the 10 months. Hey, Tamto. I was down here in the pit one day and found your World of Warcraft YouTube video. It wants to be friends with you again. Tell it I'm busy. Tell it I'm busy. I, I'm busy. I can't make it forever. I'm busy until the end of time. Sam, thanks again for gifting 100 subs to literally Jeff Bezos and not me. Uh, thank you for that. Again, I guess. Cypher, thanks for the 13 months prime. Good news, bad news. I found clean, fresh water in the pit, and now the mold has been rehydrated, and, had, and it has begun the feast. Yes. Yuroko B, 12 months prime. Thank you. Dog Fort B2, 7 months prime. Waste Mindu, 17 months. Thank you. Dylan the Laser 420. Thank you for the six months. Hey, just wanted to say sorry again for that spam I did during the Fatal Frame stream. It was an honest mistake. Hey, it's fine. Water under the bridge. Master Exploder 1AZ 14 months prime. SS Sev, thank you for the subscription. Indy Junior Jones, thank you for the prime. Uh, Grungle Puncher. Thank you for the six months. Hey, Tomato, thanks for the entertaining six months. Hey, thank you for watching. Fire323, 14 months. Isaac2, eight months. Oh, that's my stop. Wait, is it? It's not my stop yet. We go higher, I think. It's either that's my stop or this is my stop. I mean, then we go this way. It's either we go left here, we go right here, we go right like up here. Depends on if this is a dead end. Uh, Vod, Vod, Vodian Cat, thank you for the four months, Prime. The, the Themmer, thank you for the two months, Prime. Kaplawi, 12 months. Oh, this is my stop right here. Kaplawi, 12 months, 15 total. Finally made the one year streak. Thanks to you, I've discovered many great games I never would have known about otherwise. Thank you for all the entertaining content, Tomato. Thanks for watching, man. Glad I could be a service. The Deranged Optician, 13 months. Requiem League, 5 months. Prime. Tomato streams make me happy number. Makes me stress someone hold me. Oh, I, it was another, it was, there wasn't a space at one point, so I was like, happy, pen, happy penumbra? Happy penumbra makes me stressed. I see, I misread it. I'm sorry. I, I scammed you. I'm not rereading it again. So I'm just going to take your money and run. Uh... Ratman Dan, 13 months. Ryan Ben Somp, thanks for the two months. Upstream Tick, six months. Ice Dispensing System, 10 months. Fuck, I missed my nine months sub because I was waiting for the right time to do the baby bit. God damn it, just ban me. Come forward. If you're still here, come forward. This is a disappointment. I passed the right hole. This is a disappointment. No. We dig our way out. We're getting out of here, chat. We're getting out of here. We didn't have a Matic when we got up here last time, but now we have it. Let's go. We're leaving the caves. We're gonna leave. I should probably rename the game now. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Sensual Snake, 14 months. Whimsy Shrimp, 14 months. Thank you very much. Sergeant Toaster, 6 months. Santa Claus in Vietnam, 4 months. Salander, thank you for the 17 months. Thunder Bunderson, gifting 2 subs. Thank you very much. Parker, 177, 14 months. Prime, hey Tamto, I had a crazy-ass dream where we crashed on an island and you kept asking chat 
if you should eat everyone. Pretty scary. Dude, I ask chat all the important questions because I don't know how to make decisions for myself. Cool Commissar, thanks for resubscribing. 12 months. Como Draco, thanks for the 12 months. Prime good news. Bad news is chat's fucking psychos. And if you ask them something like that, they can be like, eat them, eat, 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 eat it. Eat them, kill them. Like before we even, before we would have even crashed, chat would have been like, kill him. Yeah, get that, kill that guy. Kill him, eat him. Eat him and kill him. And it's like, we're just in the airport right now. Get that guy, eat him. Eat him now, kill him, murder him. What are you waiting for? Uh, uh, Cold comments are nine months. Como Draco, 12 months. Prime. Nyanar, 17 months. Yo, Vodboy checking in. House is currently dealing with a gnat problem. Was it ever bad when you got... Was it ever bad when you were in the woods? I didn't really ever deal with tons of bugs at any point. I deal with a good amount of stink bugs now, but they don't really stink. The only thing that's stinky about them is the fact that they jump scare me when they fly like till lights in my room sometimes. I get like one a day that comes in. I don't know where they come in from. But I get one a day and they'll usually jump scare me. But they're like basically catatonic, chat. They're essentially brain dead. Once they land somewhere, you just like fucking grab a tissue and like pick them up. They don't even like try to run. They're just like, hi, hi. And they're like, hi, can I watch this? And you're just like, get the fuck. I like pick him up and I just walk him outside. <laughs> Hi. Are you watching TV? I want to watch. And then I like, just sit there. It's pretty dumb. Whatever. They're not that. They're not that annoying. Uh, Delaminations. Thanks for the 13 months prime. Uber Talone, thank you for the six months. Star Stilanx, 11 months. Thank you for, thank you for, so much for your streams, Tomato. It always puts a smile on my face. You're absolutely amazing. Thanks. Ghost Ferret, thanks for the 100 bits. Cupcake Snake, thank you for the 13, sorry, three months prime. Three months, road to one million months. I will pass the account down through my family as tradition and heirloom. Good, good, make it so. Cody Coates, three months prime. Comrade Grecken, two months prime. Luvi was here. Thank you for the four months. Jumbie Grub, three months prime. I've been watching this channel for three months and I still can't find the water fountain. I need moisture. You'll be fine. Dugan Storm, prime subway creature, nine months. Love you, Mr. Tomat. Thanks. Mr. Gawain Lotson, 11 months. Sly Yield, thank you for the prime. Nania808, thank you for the... Oh, we're, we're almost through. Oh my God, chat, look. Chat, look. We're almost free. The king told us not to do this. Nania808, thanks for the 11 months. Ponte Rain, thank you for the two. Feels good, thank you for the sub. Mr. Random Guy, 16 months, very kind of you. Bill, Big Bill Shakespeare, thanks for the sub. Drafto, three months prime. JDJD, thank you for the two months prime. Speakio, thank you for the two months prime. No gaming. Prime as well. Thank you. Uh, small grunt. 17 months. Been stuck as a VOD boy since I started working the night shift. My Nosferatu jockstrap just came in though. So that's a plus. Love you, tomato. Thank you, man. Siren Azure. Thank you for the eight months. Let's do this. King. Thank you for the prime. Could it be? Finish it. You coward. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Crazier kept dice. Thank you for the sub. Vash, thanks for the eight months prime. Earnings nine. Thank you for the prime as well. What is this? What? What is this? There must be a way to get up there. I know how. Watch and learn.
the mushroom shall grow and lift us to where we need to be. We shall plant the mushroom right here. It shall grow and raise us to the sky in like two to four weeks. I'm gonna stand here. I'm not gonna move a fucking inch. I'm not gonna move an inch from here. Avid Light, thank you for the sub. Zombie Bait, thank you for the 10 months. Morph Max, thanks for the 17 months. Very kind of you. Nova Warfare, four months. Nath gone, five months. Wow, a tomato stream. I haven't caught one for a while. Also, my house got struck by lightning and my modem got cooked, but I'm back now. Here's my sub. Thank you very much. Glad you're all right. Mmm, so tasty. 12 months prime. Finally, I have ascended to the upper echelons of degradation. This rot signifies a long-standing dedication to the pit and its master. May it continue per into perpetuity. Thanks for all the enjoy enjoyable entertainment, Tamto. Hey, no problem, no problem, man. The Erection, 136, 13 months. Thank you very much. Fuma X, 6 months. Beckerath, thanks for the 5 months prime. Doc Possum, three months prime. Well, Tomato, I think I learned my lesson from the last time. The pit is quite enjoyable now that my rock farm is making quite a pretty penny. I'm sorry, what? You guys farming rocks down there? Just climb, you guys farming rocks? Because, uh, I have to confiscate rocks if this is going to be a thing that you guys start to make money off of. We can't let economy be part of the pit's culture. All right. I don't want to hear farming. I want to hear scavenging. All right. No farming. Everyone go over there. You have my permission. Steal his rocks. Destroy his property. Whatever he thinks he has, take it back. Redistribute it to the people. All right. Take them. They're yours now, populace. Yes. Yes. Shinobi Kins, thanks for the 11 months prime. Teal Jaker, thanks for the 16 months prime. Nico Demis, seven, thanks for the two months. I remember you from some of the earlier days of YouTube. Your humor has matured a lot since then. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, easy. Oh, yeah. Nah, not even a fucking doubt in my... I don't even need to look at old shit to know that's true easy for sure which is a good thing it's a very good thing i'd say uh retro night 1095 thank you for the sub pomer 12 months a whole year thank you very much blargo saw a sub the hubbajub thank you for the four months love the streams but i gotta ask how are you so good at the <laughs> noise you mean like <laughs> like that noise is that what you mean? Because I just shake my head when I do it. I shake my head like a little bit back and forth, like uh, like one inch left and right while I go like brr, like that sort of. Yeah. Just shake my head a little bit. A little vibration, like sort of. Uh, the ginger ginger, thanks for gifting us up in chat. That's it. I'm out. We will finish Penumbra. We'll do the other games, however long they are. However many there are. There's either one or there's two. I don't actually know. But I will buy them. We'll check them out another time. Sorry I didn't have them ready for now. I would have gone straight into it. But, uh, you know, I, alas, was unaware uh, how that it would be that it would be a little bit shorter than I originally planned, I guess. We're going to raid uh, Chief today. I already know it to be true. So I'll catch you guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys when I catch you. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, 3 to 4 p.m. EST. You know how this fucking works by now. Come on. We'll be back tomorrow. Wait, stream's over. Oh, I just got here. Oh, well, yeah, we're done. We're done. I've been going for almost five and a half hours. We're done. See you guys tomorrow, 3 to 4. Come on, Chief. See you next time. Bye-bye.